Kazuya Mishima wins. Kazuya Mishima wins.
Hello everyone, stream is started officially. I'm gonna be running it. I'm your host, I'm Jordson. Hello, hello. Yeah, you're welcome to join. Hello, hello. Still playing Sora? Yeah. Right on, man. Where did Chris go? Hello? My boy Chris. Is, is, he, the, is he the first on not, stream? Not only did he hold up bracket. How did he hold up bracket? He didn't reg. Oh my we God. had to redo the whole bracket because he didn't reg. He showed up early, too. He just didn't reg? Crazy. He's got his, he, he swapped switches around last week. This man. Is he dead? He, he's out here. Is he Chris anywhere? Oh my god. Hello, hello. Welcome, first time viewer. Oh? This is our most busy night tonight. Yeah. And got it. it is going to be wild. I got to update the challenge info because they messed it up. Big shout out to our TOs right who on. fixed it. Mac Alt 9 real. real. For real this time. For real. Can't spell real. Oh, real. God. Mac Alt 9 Rolla. Rolex. It is not case sensitive, I don't think. No, it's not case sensitive, but I like putting the camo case because it's easier to read. True. But yeah, we got fuck, we got hella people this time. It's the busiest bracket we've had so far. We are <laughs> sus of NSU might be sus. They saw this, so. Hey, listen, we're at, we're at capacity. We're, we, we, DQ, bro. DQ Chris already. If I didn't know, if he didn't beat me last week, I was going to. <laughs> I, I actually took a L, L to him last week, so I can't even... True. Day night, let's go. Yeah, dude, day night's on stream. He's going to destroy the person who ruined the bracket. <laughs> Captain Peru going to get... No pressure, no pressure. Shit rocked by day night. Day night's really good. I, I put, I've only played him once uh, in this bracket, but... Definitely. Still under capacity, easy peasy, let's go. Hey, it, it, you know, we're at 24 people. That's we're the capacity. We're at 24, That's yeah. it, so, you know... Yeah, yeah. we're on a little bit of thin ice, but we're not, we're not we, breaking We had any to rules. kick our TO crew outside, but, you know, it's all good. Oh, yeah. They don't, they don't need to sit inside, hello. Yeah, they're so not, they're not working. They're just making, <laughs> just you know, they're just out there, sitting outside, being tos. <laughs> just being tos. Just to. Yeah. Everyone knows tos do nothing. So once the tournaments, well, they're they're tournament organizers. Once it's actually organized, they got nothing to do, and it's organized. So we got Captain Peru oh, showing let me, up. Let me update the all names. the names. I am behind on that. CPT Peru. CPT Peru. Actual capital C, uh, no space between the dot and the P. Oh, that puts him on the wrong side. I did. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mr. Roommate here is uh, making sure I get my names right. No way MSU knows the difference between. Hey, hey, it's, it's okay. There's no need to know a difference because we're not doing anything wrong. Is that correct? D A E N Y T E? Yep, they know. I'm so him. fucking good. Godlike. <laughs> so you got them setting up the controls here? What, what do you think? Let me make sure I have the scores right. We're probably, probably looking at ZSS Sword. Yo, yo, what, what's the highest Mario combo counter we can get? Let's go. Uh, he doesn't have a rapid jab either. This character sucks. This character sucks, Mark. This character sucks. I like how in this Uppie game you can say like any six. character sucks or is broken and you're always right. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I guess you just down air up B and then it's like 15 hits. True combo. Add in a couple back airs and down throws, and you're, you're, you're smooth. Oh, this is not Grands. Um, uh, I mean, it could be. Right. We could just end the tournament here. Whoever wins, we give them 25 bucks. Yeah, we're going to see the craziest losers runs from no one. Because the tournament's over. Winner, Captain Peru. You think so? You think Z How do you think ZSS Sora goes? Is this ZSS Sora? I think it is. I know Day Night plays That's, Sora. Okay, wait, wait, let me go back Captain to Peru's one. got a couple uh, characters in the wheelhouse, but usually he pulls out the ZSS. So I think, uh, looks like Captain Peru won the rock, paper, scissors. Alright, let's go. Battlefield. Battlefield. Trying for some ladder combo nonsense, but Sora's got a little bit of that as well. I'm just looking through the wrong tabs. Here we go. You're good. You transition that? Is it all good? Yeah, right now. And are they starting? I'm a, I'm a big yep. Like, the they are indeed starting on Battlefield Game 1. Battlefield Gaming. Let's go. Oh, not ZSS. Hello? 
He's going with it's it's not Monday, but it's Monkey Monday in his heart. He he, he monkeys up my bracket. He's gonna monkey up game one. So I don't know if you guys uh, keep track of all the Twitter nonsense that shows up whenever a DLC character comes out. But this matchup's like a minus four, right? It's like a 10-0 for Sora. Sora just nair loops DK across the stage. Yeah, and... no, this is this is not it, Chief. That's all I can say. Listen, I I, I still believe that the nair, the fucking the noops are propaganda. I don't know if they they're real, but if they're gonna work on any character in the game, it's gonna be Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's very true. Very so true. this could be a very bad character pick here, but we'll have to see. I'm excited to see some really interesting Sora tech because Sora has some crazy stuff. I mean, you know, uh, he's he's alright. I, I think I'm I'm overall I think I'm a little. I think Sora could have been a little cooler. Even like regardless of how good he is, I think he could have been a little bit more fun or a little bit more well, interesting to play. But yeah, I play Lucas, and in my opinion, Sora is just way better than that Lucas is in most regards. So think so. Well, in terms of what Lucas does, uh, Sora just has more stupid shit he can pull, like the nair loop uh, stuff. And Sora has somehow even crazier offstage game, and he has one move that does everything that Lucas' specials do all at once. So. And what 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 what, what move would that be? The neutral special. Have you seen his neutral special? That move does everything. I guess. I that mean, move, I don't know. Oh, first oh off. Oh my God, he blow. DK oh, wait, taking the first time. Listen, DK listen. Pick? No, no. But here's the thing. That was a stock. Hello. DK is bad. However, Captain Prue's got a DK. He's got a monkey. He's, he's monkey, definitely got a pocket know? monkey. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. You've, you've gotten monkey hands. We were playing some friendlies, and he was actually just kind of beating my ass with the DK. He's got he's got a monkey on him. Jeez. Okay. He's he's motivated I'll today. I'll take your word for it, because you have been placing surprisingly well here, Mr. Brick. Thank you. Uh, it's surprising me to me as well. But his 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 DK was kind of yeah, it's kind of wrecking my Kazuya. Kazuya quite do be quite the character. Just a little bit. Oh, and that oh, might be. Oh no. no okay. That, was, that little dash. Hello. That was no. rude. Out here wave bouncing. No, he's not. But one day, one oh, oh and the giant punch. Now hold on a minute. He sussed out that getup attack a mile away. That was gross. Making me eat my words. Making it look like it is a 10-0, but in Yo, DK's he favor. Did, he is here to show up that he didn't ruin our bracket for nothing. Oh yeah, this man was worth waiting for. But like finally, age wine just in our bracket. Here's the thing though. I'm not, okay. I'm not gonna comment here as Crystal he gets off the ledge. Okay. Here's the thing with Sora DK. Sora's got one of the best offstage games yeah, in the Sora, whole game. Sora can combo him anytime, anywhere. There is a world where Day Knight takes this stock and, and then just gets him offstage, kills him at like 20, and then does it again. Uh, nice and, and we might be on that train. Fun, that up B is stronger than Blinks, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty dumb. I don't know. It feels pretty uh, DI-able to me. It feels like you, if you if you just well, like... Well, the thing is, you can DI it, but then you also have to deal with the side D follow-up afterwards. Oh, that was so okay, close. That, that was very scary. That was ballsy as hell from Day Knight. He kind of has to... Goes in the ballsy, I feel, though. So I'm saying this could be okay. Okay, DK off stage is sad monkey hours. That's all it is. I, I'm seeing a lot of monkey hands being thrown right here, and I. I mean, at this point, Sora's a kill percent for a lot of just random DK nonsense. So. We love random DK nonsense. We, Scary monkey advantage. Bro, this is this is where we we have heavies in like grand finals on the usual here. So. We are yeah. This is this is a very oh this is a, this is a low tier friendly weekly for sure. We got some character we have, specialists. We have some low tier players too. We're oh, very yeah? friendly to them as well. So. Fair enough. For, take me for example. Hey, you, you tend to do pretty all right. Oh my God, that, that was crazy. That almost. Oh, that might be it. Oh, no. he misses the clap. No, he, DK. His fingers just needed to elongate. He needs to expand Dong just a little bit more. Oh, what's that thing that Dio does where he just expands his finger? Oh uh, no, that's that's Jotaro. No. He does the star finger. Oh, oh and yeah, that actually yeah, takes it. Jotaro. Okay. That, the stanky leg takes the first stock. So hey, solid, solid two stock. Was, like you know, it was it was the stock was getting a little crusty. Yeah. That was a good game. That was a pretty good game. Monkey yeah, Kong kind of showing DK up. DK kind of ran away with the game early there, and Day Knight, you know, his adaptations made it more look more even. But yeah, Day Knight was definitely doing a lot better of a job near the end of that game. That last stock got a lot of mileage. Almost took two stocks with that. And while they pick a stage, we're gonna transition to this. We can say hi to the people. <laughs> we updated hi the guys. bracket info for anyone who needs to see that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is still. This is not, you know, panic panic hours for Day Knight quite yet. Like, this is best of three, so this could be uh, his, his the end of his winner's run here. Day Knight has a lot of characters that he plays as well, so he could pick up some random counter pick. I, I was going to say that I still I think you stick with the Sora. I think Sora's got the potential to do some disgusting shit to Monkey. Sora do be good. Yeah. Like, just again, some of the, like, Sora's probably got some top five, top ten edge guarding in the game. DK's well, got, like, a bottom ten off stage. If you're game. A, a, uh, Sora combos, so you're probably practicing on DK. Just, I'm just throwing that out there. You think so? so? I think, think so. I mean, oh, you know everything works on DK. Oh, he's 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 doing win win game change character. Is this what we're this seeing right here? Rude, not gonna lie. They're doing the Naito Sharp special. Oh no, he sticks with it. Does not want to be associated with hey, Naito Sharp. Hey, hey, hey. You know how counter character counter picks work. 
What? If you win, you have to pick your character first. Oh. Eh. Well, <laughs> absolutely oh, robbing Day Knight there, picking his character second. That's pretty rude for someone who held up our bracket for. I'm okay with uh, with Captain Peru being the heel oh, of this, this tournament. Is... Yeah, he's gonna be the butt of our jokes tonight. I'm sorry, he's asking. Nah, he's, he's he's the bad guy, you know, like he's out here mildly bending the rules to inconvenience his opponent. Yeah, inconvenience. No, even worse, inconvenience the tos. That's 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 yeah, that's just par for the course. That's just Smash Player 101 oh, right yeah, there. True, true. Anyway, getting off to a pretty okay. good start here. Nice Got Sora near. at 77. Day night. This uh, this FD okay, setup that here. Was, oh, that was a nice. This is where. Here. Okay. Committed oh, to the up B. He's still hit him with that, trying to recover. That up B. That side special. Very disjointed and catches a lot of people off guard because of how many hits it has and how much how much control you have over it. Really. You know what though? I, I think that side B's got to be. Gonna kill, but that's a big it's close. Hit. That's, a, that's a strong. Sora is actually not as light as I initially thought he was. When Sakurai said he was lighter than Isabel. Isabel kind of heavy. I didn't realize. But Isabel's like. <laughs> Isabel's like 85 weight oh, or something. Not yet. No, it did. No, I thought DK was a little, Yeah, I thought DK was a little heavier, but I guess the rage. No, sorry, just has a strong back throw. Hello. Yeah. Looking I'll tell you like what though. Out here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, okay. first off. Oh, that could have been oh, really bad. Oh, he tried to go for it all there, and oh, yeah. still gets the landing with that extra last hit. But I think that side B of Swords is probably one of his most overrated moves. That oh. thing's like minus 45 on shield. He gets F smash That's, out of shield. The thing is though, characters. it's like insane mix-up potential because you can hit them once, you hit them twice, or you can hit them three times, and it's almost impossible to react to. I guess, I, you know. That, no, Ding Dong not executed properly there. I don't think it was the right percent either, so. Who knows? Sakurai said he patched it out, but he's just a bold-faced liar, so. Anyways, Day Knight doing pretty Any, well anything here. Anything works if your opponent DI's poorly enough. Fair enough. Everything's true against DK also. Uh, but Day oh, Knight, Did he pop the balloon with that? I can't see. That would be, that'd be great. That's style points, popping it with Thundaga. Okay, he Ooh. falls through that and, and gets, gets forward the forward for smash. It. And suddenly it's looking DK. like a really solid game. Okay, he hits the Jimmy Neutron and that's going to kick him out. Correct. So, one stock lead here for Day Knight, which is very good, but, I mean, nice you know, freeze. Okay. heavy factor works both ways. You can never really count them out, because they just do, like, a few hits and they're back in it. Oh, yeah, At the exactly. same time, their leads don't really mean anything, because they can just die off stage at 20%. Oh, so true, yep. But DK is benefiting from the, the good side of heavy factor here, where he really just, if he hits him with that, that F smash might have killed. That's not, not going to kill yet. This almost did, so. That was know. center stage, and counting seems pretty big when you're not at the side blast zone. I guess, I guess, but point being... Captain Prudus needs like one more hit to close out the stock, and then it's, you know, 60% extra credits a lot, but it's nothing that's a, you can't... That's a nice rage. Hello? You're stacking that rage. Oh, yeah. Oh, he doesn't get the Jimmy Neutron follow-up there. Doesn't get the We Will Rock You, the Queen special. <laughs> oh, the last hit of the Frieza guy. I'm gonna hit him there. Yeah. Oh, oh, and does the up smash. up smash. Misses there on that free fall, but... Oh, the... Oh, parries the... Oh, parries the oh, side that B. that was crazy parry. And hits him with a clap. That was really good to count. Captain Crew parried a lot of moves in a row there. Change. Oh, yeah. And like we said earlier, DK has 100 rage. This is not over for him yet. They're oh, he tries to get the up smash fall off. The air dodges through. That's really close. Ooh. DK is okay. not a kill percent for a lot of stuff yet, especially if it's not at the edge of the stage. Mm, he's dangerously close to kill percent for a lot of things. But Sora's getting there, too. Was it like 46? Ooh, okay, okay. That's not going to kill. You're starting at, yeah, Town and City, highest. No way. All right, see what Go I mean? He, insane K. Really good DI. Great Make DI. Make sure he knows how to get back to stage there. This is so close here. Day Knight trying to hold on to his winner's bracket 177 life. 77 rage is extremely threatening. Misses the spike. Gets the Thundaga. Wait, he didn't tech that. Oh, and the up tilt might do it. I can't and that kill. does do it. Day Knight staying alive here. <laughs> this is really looking like Grands after all. It's just our first game here. Oh. But some really close games. It's gonna games be a long out. night if this is like Grands. Oh boy. Hey, I'm just. This was. That was a really close game too. That was really close. Day Knight had a commanding lead there, but Captain Peru started to bring it back with that DK factor. Oh yeah. Man. The DK factor always on deck. Oh yeah. But again, listen. I, I still. I think the Sora. You still stick with the Sora. Because again, I'm that DK really factor works against Sora. him. I can't believe that Captain Fru, you know, sussed out the character counter pick in the front there. It looks like he's going to go ZSS and switches last minute. I'll be real with you, I think you forgot about that rule. I think you forgot that I you have to pick your character. I think he forgets a lot of our rules here. Like, you know, like come on time? And like being regs before 7? Don't, yeah, don't hold up the bracket. But like, you know, taking your own switch home? He, he, uh... He, he firmly holds that his switch was stolen first, and then he just took what he thought was his switch. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's, that's the story he tells anyway. That's the narrative. Yeah, I am not believing in this, this narrative here. For those who don't know, we had a bit of a, a bit of a bait and switch. A switch, a switch and switch. A switch and switch, as you might say. Someone took someone else's switch home, and 
It's been a he said, she said ever since. Or he said, <laughs> he said. Over who stole who. And we're going to small battle for the win? This would be interesting. I believe He's so. DK, huh? Hey, the DK's been the DK's been working out. There we go. Maybe he really... I, you know what? I know for a fact that uh, Captain Peru hates playing against Sora. Uh, just in general, but in Z ZSS in particular, he might uh, he ZSS, might not like. Yeah, a lot of floaty characters can fall out of ZSS confirms. Yep. And like Sora is definitely a floaty character. So. I think he's the floatiest character. I think he's actually floatier than Puff, if I remember correctly. I might. I'll, I'll have surprised. to. He's got those goofy shoes, so. He does have those Mickey Mouse shoes. By the way, disjointed on all of his moves. There's no uh, there's no there's hurt no box yeah. on his shoes. On no his clown shoes. Box. Yeah. That would have been that would have been really bad for him. Would have been like a Mewtwo thing, you know? His weird like <laughs> his, his toes. clown shoe hitbox, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't that would have been a uh, bad Poor bad Mewtwo. legacy. Poor Mewtwo having like the weirdest tail hitboxes in the game. Oh yeah. It's weird how so many of the characters with the biggest hitboxes in this game are on like the lighter ends, Whoa, like Sephiroth dude, and Mewtwo. Like, clap, clap into the Jimmy Neutron. I'm, I'm just saying random stuff. For these <laughs> moves. Man, you can just say whatever you want for DK moves. Uh, yeah, he, oh, he hit him with the banana slammer. Oh, <laughs> the banana slammer. And that's going to be the first stock. See, everything just works. DK's a hype character. So you can just start yelling things out and it works. I was really surprised that um, Spinning Kong killed on stage there. but Spinning Kong's strong, man. Ever since they buffed it, too. I forgot how small this stage is, too. It, it, it is small battlefields. That, that ain't a lie. Oh, and Side B's back to stage here. Battlefield. A cute battlefield. A cute angled battlefield. Correct. Okay. Oh, does not. That was. Does not jump against DK. That was a micro uh, DI there. Okay. That's Very the thing about. It's so scary to block DK, man. Yeah, He's got dude. some some shield damage. It's crazy. That said, you get a lot if you can get one shield interaction against him. So. It's true. It's a dangerous game. Yeah. Oh, and oh, yeah, that, really that I think is what Day Night needs to start yeah. doing more of. I think he just discovered a goddamn nail in the coffin right here. Uh, How yeah. does DK recover against that counter? Just, just you, answer uh, the question. DK does have a pretty big jump, and he has some other really scary stuff he can go for, but once he has... Anything that isn't the jump gets through. countered, and then he does. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a four frame air dodge. Any like forward air, neutral air, like punishing the counters oh, is going to get countered. Good tech chase situation on the platform there for DK. He still has 50% lead and, and the has a whole stock lead now. lead now. Getting the fingertip hitbox too, the stronger hitbox on that DK forward smash. Oh yeah. Those I, nasty fingernails. Oh yeah. DK does not own a nail clipper, nor does he ever shower. Uh, so this character's got the stank box on half his moves. Oh goodness, okay, he finally gets the ding dong confirmed. Yeah. Putting together a hell of a lead now. 73% extra credit, and his second stock is still pretty fresh. Yeah, this is right now looking like a percent lap. Sora makes it back from these on the bright side, because he, he is Sora. He makes it back from literally everywhere. Correct. He makes it back from the bottom right corner of the stage. I think there's like only one or two spots he can't make it back, and that's if he doesn't have his jump. Oh, and, and that's, that's going to be an unfortunate SD. Oh, yeah. That'll be rough. That was extremely sad. Bit rough on that last game there, but Day-Night overall doing a really good job. And good good competition here. I think... You win your game? Yeah. yeah, so we're playing now? Okay. Are you on stream next? <laughs> and there we go. Day night getting knocked into losers this early. It's really unfortunate. So up next, we have Brick versus that's Roots. Yeah. Roots versus Brick up next. Roots take my energy, feels good, man. Let's go. We got some Roots cheers. There we go. Thank you, funny wind man, LOL. Dude, Rumble's kind of nice. Yeah, it is. That looks like a legit. So, they're going to FD to start off. Um, I know Roots plays... Or Brick plays Kazuya, so this is a good stage for him. And I think... Um, I think Roots is playing Diddy. But yeah, he's playing Diddy, so this is a pretty decent stage for Diddy. But taking it... Oh, wait. Scores. Let me update this. I would not want to take Kazuya to FD ever. So, that's a pretty scary pick in my opinion.
And they are going off the bat. PD's got some early, early percent against Kazuya. Pretty good start, in my opinion. That said, Kazuya will destroy you with only a few interaction ones, so... Oh my gosh, he gets him with the uppercut through the explosion on the barrels there, so... Dang, these kick flips catching him off guard. See what surprising lack of banana right now from Diddy. Hello, I don't want to be ghosting too much. Oh, he tries to go for the multi-hit input command tilt there, so... Oh, gets the trip and gets the forward smash on the roll in, but he doesn't die. Kazuya is very heavy. Really good DI from Brick. Oh, no, he gets the side beat on stage, and the electric's going to take him out. Holy. This is what I mean by you can't let Kazuya win more than a couple interactions, because he will just destroy you for it. And Giddy's got to go for some hard commitments to actually get a kill right now. Oh, but if he goes off stage like that, that's... Oh, he doesn't kill him with that. Surprised he didn't wait for the re-grab to get the down air. Okay, down tilt. Doesn't get the back air. Just high enough percent. Good enough to drift away. That's side B. On stage. Gonna catch him off guard again. Okay, back air. Not enough to kill. Gets the banana out. He needs to take the stock off as soon as he can. Air dodge just alleged safety. Oh, the banana pick up with the back air. Not gonna catch him off guard, though. Oh, he tries to armor through that. Okay, up tilt takes it. Only 41% lead. Oh, it's getting right, uh, higher at the moment. And he's trying to get off stage against Kazuya. Getting <laughs> these little punches in. Oh, that doesn't... Okay, it doesn't get him. That looked like it could have gimped him really easily there. But Kazuya has really good vertical recovery. Uh, he just has to be careful because of how committal his double jump is. Oh, he doesn't get the down air. Tries to go in crazy there. Getting early stock. Good forward smash on the landing. And now Giddy's up in percent. And if he can take this percent lead and get a stock off of it, it would be a really good chance for him to take the game back. And, okay, we now have Rage Drive on Kazuya. This will kill at 60. Uh, assuming he hits the right way. And, oh, yes, Ds! I think he meant up B and he goes for neutral special instead. Okay, tripped. Doesn't get follow-up. And the electric, he DIs that properly this time. I think, yeah, not enough rage to kill either. Up throw. No, it misses the back air. Lands in the forward air. Diddy has a lot of pretty crazy frame traps, even if he misses his aerials, so. Oh, he gets the down beat. That's going to kill. He held back so he, he wouldn't get knocked off stage, and then the DI was kind of incorrect on the hit, final hit there, so. Okay, down to grab, forward air. Nice little string there. He doesn't, okay, he does cover the roll one. Looks like he was going to get at first, but he catches the shield option there. And that's going to be the stock. Nice. Really clean game one from Roots. The FD pick actually worked out for him. I was a little bit worried, but he definitely made it look like it was the right pick, so. And 1-0 right now for Roots. We're going to see what Brick counter picks him to. Here we go. Going right back, picking their characters, and oh, they're going right to it. Running it straight back. That was a very quick character select. Here we are. Back on FD. We got Silver Kazuya. I know Brick likes to whip this out when he's here to win. He's here to play. Oh, he's going Silver Kazuya. He's here to get that gold. He ain't giving up yet. 37% uh, uncontested right now, and Diddy Kong is a monster in neutral. This is a Really difficult for Kazuya to get in against. Yeah, these forward tilts are catching him, trying to get in. We still haven't seen the banana pull this stock. Oh, he tries to get the roll in, but just barely slips by. We've seen the electrics come out. Oh, he gets the jab lock, but doesn't get anything off of it. That was really cool. Oh, okay. Little strength. And gets the forward smash off it. Not gonna kill. He does get the cutscene, though. That cutscene gives you a heart attack anytime you get hit by it. Yeah, he's not dealing. <laughs> he's gonna run away from that. Hell it. We have Rage Drive Kazuya on deck. This is extremely scary. Any grab or command input will probably take uh, Diddy's stock right here. So he is jumping all the way around it. Okay, gets the up air. He has banana on deck. And oh, he armors through it. Uses the armor from Rage Drive. Doesn't care about the banana. He picks it up. Tries to throw back at him. Doesn't get anything off of it though. 
Oh, he doesn't. Okay, can't punch the regrab because he hit him there. And this is really scary for Diddy because he has to go in, and Kazuya is perfectly. He's sitting there waiting. He's like a dragon in his lair, ready to hit him coming in. I'm gonna get thrown off stage though. Okay, gets the regrab the situation, but Kazuya smartly buffers onto stage right away. That barrel's not gonna kill. Here we go. Okay, up tilt, not enough to kill this time. We did see take a stock last time. Oh, he gets the banana kick, uh, drop. We're seeing a lot of recaps from Kazuya, and they're not getting punished properly. Oh, that back here finally kills. Maybe that was bad DI. I don't think he expected to die to that. I know I wouldn't have. Okay, grab off banana. Gets down here for his, his follow-up, though. Doesn't look for the right follow-up. Oh, my God. Tries to go for the double dunk. And they are playing pretty crazy off stage. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what a great confirm. Gets the electric into the up-E. He's going to take the stock. Yo, these electrics are kind of going off right now. Oh, nice double jump. Trying to suss out his uh, follow-up option. Trying to hit the landing. He still needs to get this stock soon, though, or else Kaz is going to run away with it. And first Rage Drive is on deck. Second one this game. If he's not careful, Kazuya could get a second Rage Drive on the next stock. Oh, thank you. Okay, at 151, he's off stage. At laser, just to stall a little bit, avoid the banana. Oh, and he dropped his block and gets hit by that. I do know Kazuya has some moves that ignore block. So, we're now at 1 1. Uh, Roots now has a counter pick. I wonder where he's going to go with this. Here we go. They're looking at counter picks. Northern Cave and uh, Bastion are in the DLC zone, and they're going to Northern Cave. I don't think we're going to see any characters counter picks. I know uh, Brick is a dedicated Kazuya main, and Diddy Kong has been what Roots has been rolling with. And it looks like they're ready to go. Got the purple hat, purple shirt. Diddy Kong is rocking and rolling out here. And here we go, 50% on Kazuya to start out. Sorry about me, you can strike by the venue. And <laughs> and okay, nice little percent combo here from Kazuya. Doesn't get too much off it though. Not the full zero to death. Oh, wait. I don't know if he meant to grab the banana or not there. It's really cool how he didn't get it and he got for some aerials on the shield there. Oh, he tries to go for it all there with that down air. Even percent, dead even. Gets the flip kick. Gets him to ledge. And oh, he grabs him out of his command grab. That's side B not working out there. Actually, wait, side B's not a command grab. It's, uh, it's just a uh, crumple effect. Once again, dead even percent. We've seen a very even set so far. However, this is where Kazuya makes up the even games is with, yeah, Rage Drive. That command grab catching him off guard there. Kazuya also steals the banana. Tries to go for him with it there. Doesn't quite get anything. Okay, hoo-ha, not enough to take it. I don't think that kills anymore. Especially not against heavy characters like Kazuya. Oh, back air. Okay, gets the banana there. These bananas are flying. Oh, and the banana catches him dropping shield. That is really smart. That said, he still needs to get the stock off, or else this game is I mean, extremely difficult to come back from. Kazuya is kind of a monster if he can keep his lead. Okay, he shields the crumple effect. That back throw, not enough to kill. Northern Cave is kind of a big stage. Oh, he armors through the uh, up the explosion. Forward tilt, not enough to take it at ledge. And, oh no, unfortunate SD. He gets kind of thrown away by the ledge there. Very unfortunate. 
this is this is looking kind of rough for Roots right now. Although that said, Diddy Kong can easily make a huge comeback. Extremely easy for Diddy Kong to win neutral in this matchup, and as long as he's not pressing too much into what Kazuya wants, no, he falls out of the up smash. That's super unfortunate. Still gets the stock though. Not getting tilted by that. Getting the stock off of that back air, and now we're gonna see some early percent combos. And Roots is out here. He's turning up. He does not want to lose to this. This is too early going to losers for him. Okay, nice back air on the landing. Into forward smash. Okay, he might make the stock really quick. Oh my god, he gets the downer on the air dodge in. Okay, this is extremely even now. Diddy Kong only needs one big percent combo to make this back, and he's not going to fall for the super armor on that. Kazuya being extremely dangerous on shield there. Not really able to get a punish off after taking a hit to the shield. Oh, he goes to the electric, gets the pushback effect. Okay, this is looking really scary. Doesn't get the up air there. Good DI away from Brick. Let's go, Roots. Yo, I'm, I'm cheering for both these players. That said, um, this has been a pretty crazy comeback from Roots being down two stocks, to, one stock to three earlier. Oh, that's not Rage Drive. That command grab is going to take the stock. And what a close set. Really crazy to happen this early. Um, Brick taking game three. And oh boy. Here we go. We got some local legends on stream next. So up next, we have Diddy Dank versus Brumentos. Two people have been placing in our top eight recently. They've been doing pretty well. I think they're in the fourth time. And just stop winning, then you won't have to play each other. Pardon? Stop playing, you won't have to play each other. Yeah, this is. It's. I think it's top sixteen. It might not be top eight. So we got Pimentos versus Diddy Dank. This is a matchup that happens a lot around here. They're both <laughs> usually in our top, top eight or so. Diddy Dank versus Brementos. So, this is going to be, I think, Clyde versus Bowser, which is a pretty interesting matchup for Bowser. Uh, we've seen this a lot of times. That's the kind of thing where Cloud can run, a, run away with a game if Bowser can't get in. But at the same time, Bowser will kill you at really early percents and can be extremely difficult to kill. And they're going into it. Here we go, game one. I think this is winner's round three. Winner's round three, here we go. Okay, Bowser with an early percent lead. We're on FD, which is a good stage for both these characters, I think. But I do, um, actually no, Bowser not being able to do extensions with his side B. Kind of good for Cloud in this matchup. And Cloud doesn't really have crazy ladder combos, so he doesn't really care about having the platforms. So I think this is a good stage pick for Cloud overall. That said, Bowser can be really oppressive when you don't have platforms to run away from the one. Nice stout catching that jump from ledge. Yeah, jumps in with the claw. And oh, this is this is looking real painful for Cloud to get back to ledge. Gets the claw. It's gonna take the stock even. Yeah, Bowser eating that shield. He's got a massive shield. Yo, Goder 12, hello. We got Pimentos versus Diddy Dank, too. Very well custom uh, players in our weeklies. And, oh, lots of fire on shield, but Cloud is going to swipe right through that. And Cloud's in a difficult situation. He's down a stock. He needs to get in. He does have limit, and cross slash is not enough to take it. Really good survival DI and the air dodge from Diddy Dank there. He knows how to survive, and oh, let me fix this man. There we go. 
And Bowser Bomb, not enough to take it. And unfortunately, has to waste his limit there on the up B. I, it was kind of risky to air dodge to ledge there, so I kind of agree with using the limit just to play safe. That said, Bowser's still up a whole stock, and Cloud is at 106. He, very much at kill percent. Yeah, not going to fall for that uh, back air into forward tilt on steel. Once again, Cloud is off stage, and Cloud is taking so much percent from getting back to ledge. Forward tilt finally going to take the stock there. Okay, Cloud has limit again, so he can maybe get a big percent chunk here. This might be his situation to take back the game. That said, he's off stage once again, and I think he lost his limit there. Oh, Bowser, wary to the ways of up B. He gets him from behind to that roll behind back throw. And Bowser has really strong throws, so really strong move, really, really smart play there. That grab range, really big, catching that forward air on shield. I don't think he expected to get hit by that. Oh, he misses that forward air, but still gets the punish afterwards. Cloud not having a lot of ending lag on his forward airs. Yeah. Diddy Dank sussing that out. Oh my god, the limit cloud up air, or up B there. Beats through the fire and gets on the stage to hit Bowser. Oh, he's lapped in percent and off stage without a jump, I think. Yeah, that's game. Very dominant game from Diddy Dank game round one. So it's gonna be interesting going into game two, what kind of counter pick Cloud makes, because a lot of the stages that Cloud kind of wants to camp on platform wise, Bowser wants to go to because he can get the Bowser Bomb extensions, uh, get early stocks. Um, so type of deal where it's a catch 22 of going to small battlefield here is good for Cloud for that uh, platform camping, but it's also good for Bowser because he will kill you really early with Bowser Bomb. And we got Jump Up Superstar. Pauline is out here. I don't know who Pauline would cheer for because I don't think she would cheer for Bowser. But maybe maybe Cloud? Maybe uh, Pauline got some Aerith vibes? Who knows? Up he out of shield, yep. Uh, both these characters have really broken up he out of shields and Bowser is getting his on deck here. Really good grab on his landing on the platform there. Oh, okay. Landing forward there gets the limit. And he tries to parry it, but has so many hits. He's not ready for it. Limit cross slash could be pretty broken. That Bowser Bomb, not enough to take it yet. Doesn't get the follow up. Really good DI out of that. Diddy Dang definitely knows the cloud matchup. Okay, back air catches the roll in. Yeah, he's jumping around. Jumps around that safely and gets him off stage. Limit's still on deck though. Doesn't waste it there, depending on the stage. Immediately up these after that. Yeah, that has no end lag. You'd be very careful. Almost have to punish the follow-up option instead of the actual cross slash. Oh, he tries to up smash that, but eats the down air. And Bowser Bomb, not gonna be able to drag off the stage, get the suicide. Oh my god, thrown off stage. This is not good for Cloud. Uh, however. Jumps over that edge guard attempt and kind of reverses the situation. That said, Bowser's dominating himself back into center stage. Gets still in the cross slash. That is going to kill. That's killed off the top. Moves strong. Evening up the stock count. However, he's down 116% right now. Oh, nice auto snap to ledge. That was worrying for a second. I was worried he was going to land right in front of him or not even hit stage. So, <laughs> double up the. And waste the limit. Blade Beam. Fortunately, not catching the tech option there. And now Cloud, yeah, taking his win neutral button in stride. Oh, he's gonna die. Catches a roll in with that grab. Bowser Bomb to the top. Okay, that downer does get sussed out there. Cloud, if he doesn't take any percent of the stock, he can even it up really easily. He wins this edge guard situation. He is charging limit very aggressively. Yep. Smart enough to roll away there. Doesn't get caught by the follow up option on the limit cross slash. Get up attack, catching him, overextending. And oh, Whirling Fortress. Whirling Fortress is how games bleed out. That move just gets a lot of percent for free. If you're not careful, you can lose your lead. 
will lose your chance to come back. That, however, is how you throw away a lead. Holy, with forward smash on shield, not enough. Cloud smash. Cloud just forward smashes straight back. Gets them off stage. That's the stack. And right now, there goes limit, so. Cloud needs to make some percent up, but that said, if he gets uh, Bowser in a series of tech chases, it could be very good for him. Oh, just barely fast enough to avoid that forward air. And Limit is on deck once again. We've seen so many Limits this game. Cross Slash takes the lead back. Oh, no. Yeah, he gets two breasts on shield, and he... No! Okay, unfortunate DI. Bromentos loses here. So d going to move on to winners. Here we go. Diddy Dank wins. Bro Mentos. He's got to fight his way through the losers bracket now. We've got some demons in there, so. And I gotta go see some fighting game to be on stream. Uh, Levine. See if you can find someone to play on stream. See if you can find someone to play on stream. Not yet. Do you want to play? Sure. We got. Trying to host losers round four or whatever. Losers Three round. Two, probably. I thought you won your first game. What happened? I got knocked in the losers immediately after. Oh. I, uh, hmm. no, Unfortunate. By the Lucina player. Oh, by Riles. Yeah. Let's go, Riles. He's. So back on stream, we have local bracket ruiner. Captain Peru. <laughs> I, I don't like your bias for my TO and commentator. I don't like you showing up on time and then not registering until after brackets are made. I registered? I, my money is in the box. Explain <laughs> that to me. Explain. And who are you playing? Straight. Who do we got here? Uh, hold them. Hold, yeah. hold in. Hold in. Oh, let's go. That's a good name. Uh, Here we go. Captain Peru versus Holden. And I'm, I'm getting some friendly banter in with Captain Peru. I played him last week. We, we had a good set. And he helps out with setup. But, man, does he does he mess with our bracket some days? Also, for those of you who are tuning in now, feel free to check out our challenge bracket. If you want to see who's winning, who's losing? Uh, it's Mac Alt Nine Real because you had to remake it. And I'm just checking how our bracket is flowing, and it looks like some people need to record their matches. Hmm, curious. <laughs> Imagine a bracket where nothing goes wrong. Imagine. Imagine having people drop out of your bracket the weekend before playoffs. Hmm. And he's going back to DSS. No more DK on stream. We got Fox versus DSS. We got some high tiers here. And he's praising his DSS amiibo. Is anyone going to join me for commentary? Hello? Here we go. We got FD only, Fox versus DSS. We got some pretty standard high tier gaming here with these character picks. And oh boy, are they they are throwing out aerials. This is this is quite the game. Oh, he gets caught by that. That's not gonna kill though. Fox is not that light. Okay, up smash catches his landing. A little bit early on that down here, and back here is gonna take the stock. Holy, this is a lot of hold in right now. Hold in living up to his name, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not gonna get hit by that down smash again. He is at zero, so it's not gonna get any confirms. Really good up smash on that with side speed special. Unfortunately, that downer has like no end leg, and Fox learns just how little it has there from lifting the up smash. Okay. Flip kick not gonna land him. Ah, hold the jab long enough for your opponent to still get hit by it. Multi jabs do do like that. And ah, uh, another back here to take the stock. Pretty even game right now. 
These characters are out to destroy each other off of everything, so. Yo. Are you back, Brick? Hello, hello? Yes, sir. Welcome back. You're just in time to see your roommate once again play on stream. And guess what? I play the winner of this match. Oh, you do? Yeah, so if he wins this set, I'm gonna we're gonna have to play again. Uh, let me update the set details, because this, I believe, is Loser's Round 2. Yes. It's Loser's Round something. I think it's Loser's Round 2 or 3. Yeah, it's only Tron. Yeah, Tron. There we go. Loser's round two. Captain Brew versus Hold In. Oh my gosh. Nice down smash. Catching the two frame there. Yep. Fox using some of his high tier status there. Yeah, it was, uh, Fox pretty good. Fox is a good character. That was some propaganda. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was worried about that Firefox. That Firefox was interesting. Oh, and yeah, he blows up that up, up B there. I'm gonna call that Firefox interesting. Uh, it was, I, I, you know, if it was any character other than ZSS, it would have punished that down smash. I'm just saying. I guess, you know, a little big brain for sure. It was, it was certainly a brain move. But still, very even game. Oh, uh, extremely even. These characters have been destroying each other off of just a few interactions. Very much, lots of back ears, lots of. Crazy aerial shenanigans. Oh yeah, two kind of like very high damage, relatively anyway, and then just light characters. So they just blow each other. Oh, that still caught his illusion. Holy! You know what? I wonder if I'll be would have killed there. Maybe with some sus di. I don't think he expected that to hit, and I also no, didn't expect him to go behind him too. Yeah, illusion is a weird move that uh, will sometimes go right through you and sometimes not. So Sit back does not get two frame. This is very close. That dash tag being carried is all hell. Still having the air kickboxing in there. Oh yeah. This is, oh, I was going to say, it's a kill yeah. percent for both here. He doesn't get anything off that dash deck. Up smash, definitely going to kill okay, from Fox right now. But Fox is unfortunately getting a lot of small hits that don't actually send DSS for you. Up smash. Just barely. Oh, I now feel like, oh, oh, that's God. it. Oh, man. Your foot was literally out of my chin. Oh, that up smash that, that missed was. right before the end of that game was criminal. He that shaved. Was pretty criminal. A, if ZSS had a beard, someone, someone should be playing smooth criminal right now. That was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buff Fox, make his up smash bigger. His up smash isn't we, good enough. We're going right back to FD. These guys know exactly. FD, huh? FD? I mean... Smiles and Kazuya. Fox? Yeah, yeah. I, I, Fox likes that. Because, you know, he just can press his advantage state forever. Oh, yeah. I would think ZSS would want a few more uh, platforms, but maybe this... Maybe, who knows? Maybe this is good for her, too. Oh, yeah. I feel like uh, ZSS tends to like bi-plots uh, quite a lot, and I mean tri-plots too for the, some crazy ladder stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, getting the upper ladders, crazy. Not putting me up against the tank though, really. <laughs> yeah? Bro, if, 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 Chris, my fourth time playing. if Chris wins this, I'm gonna have to play him in bracket again. Players two. Chris. Me and Chris keep he's on, he's on stream again? Keep team killing each other. Oh, team kills everywhere, man. He's, he's, he's mostly on stream just so we can make fun of him ruining brackets. So, so. You're, on, so you're in losers. I'm in losers. Me too, right? I don't know. I'm too Frankly, I gotta pick Oh, he lost to Adam, our boy. Oh, yeah. Man, I, I beat Adam uh, last week, but I didn't deserve to. Adam is definitely better than me. Uh, last week, I robbed him with some Kazuya shenanigans. Oh, this yeah. week, I did too. Uh, so that's why it was 2-1 instead of 2-0. But that, see, guy, that guy is pretty cracked, and I know nothing about Mewtwo. I forgot his side B was a reflector. Dude, okay, so Mewtwo uh, is like a sword character. That's how big his hitboxes are. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, his hurt boxes are also that big. Are we seeing Bowser? Wait, wait. Hello? Oh, this is I don't know Fox. how you go from Fox to Bowser, but that's sad. This is a crazy pick. 1-0 uh, for Chris. And we're on Battlefield. We're not going to FD. No. See, that's what I thought. I thought, well, the ca well, actually, the counter pick. I guess that's why he would, he would go Bowser if you're going to counter pick to Battlefield. But I guess. Yeah, I think ZSS the likes this. With the Bowser bomb. I'm not entirely sure about this. Like, obviously, yeah, Bowser loves having some uh, some heights to side B people off of. But oh, yeah. I think these platforms. Yeah. Who's also a loser now, I think. Your yeah. bracket's been pretty crazy. It's a, it's a stack bracket for sure, but... Ooh, oh, gets the, the jab, jab lock reset? into the up B, and Bowser actually dying that from that. That would be I'm just going to say that, but... It's always hard to tell with Bowser, because, like, nothing ever feels like it should kill him. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's possible. The up B is surprisingly, especially with a little bit of rage on it, it can get surprisingly strong. 67% rage is probably enough. Yeah. I, I, I there's Battlefield has kind of large oh, blast. Are we gonna though. see the ladder? Okay, this no, is what I was saying. This is dangerous. Guy. Giving ZSS these platforms. Well, I think the back here there, not enough to kill. She probably benefits from this oh, more than Bowser no. does. Okay, Catches smash. the the mash. Oh my God! What? That beat out his down air and Para that was okay. Okay, that was clean. You got you got that it. That was some. Yo, Catches the Bowser down air. That was crazy.
catches the Bowser down air with down smash. That was so clean. Right? That was so clean. Yo, yo. Diddy Dank shaking right now, hoping he doesn't have to go against Captain Peru in bracket after that. Captain Peru. the down air, hits it with the paralyzer, goes for the up Diddy Dank, Diddy Dank, our local Bowser main, is popping off for the opponent against this Bowser. Yep. So. That was uh, a Bowser trader. Take away his Bowser card. <laughs> oh, but, uh. Sick as fuck, but like, you know, ooh, that, my, my DSS living that. Uh, Man, Bowser's such a crazy clip. That was some godlike DI from Chris to follow up that crazy clip. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, listen. Good trade. Good trade. Does, does 20% to him. Okay, that's okay. So, for the stock. Happen, okay, Bowser's gonna get a crazy stock and then take this 100 plus rage. Oh, uh, oh, oh. ZSS sucks, man. This character doesn't work. That'll be missed on Bowser. That's like one of the biggest hurt boxes in the game. It just didn't connect, but. Okay, back here. Maybe he could have gotten Bowser a fair one up B there. I know that's a kill confirmed for ZSS, but... Oh, that forward smash could take the stock. Oh, okay, so... Uh, in the... Oh, oh never mind. No. And he, he gets... Hits him with the extra disrespect. This man is so rude. So that'll be Captain Peru taking a 2-0. That was crazy. That was a quick set. He's, oh. he's playing crazy with it right now. Oh, dude, I just needed to, like, dash four and a half an inch. It's so hard with this character sometimes. Hey, Chris. Yo. Yes, are we playing now? Who? Me and you. No! We gotta stop meeting like this, man. Okay, wait, is there any other matches now. that need to be done first? Oh, we can, yeah. Maybe um, we can play Zeke and Ellipse, maybe? Or? Uh, Losers there, isn't that far behind winners, I think. Is there, is there another game that can go before it logically or not? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm out. Oh, you're getting, you're getting Captain Fru really is not playing. You're not playing on stream? He's just not playing right now. He wants to take a break. No, okay, okay, wait. I might need to go check the other TOs, make know. sure that bracket's oh, actually going. Oh, never mind. Going. He says he wants to do it right now. Adam, you're gonna fucking up. On stream? Do we want... Are we go, we're going... Are you, yeah, just do it. Let's just go on stream. Let's just do it. Alright. Let's just do it on stream. We are... Hold in. It's now out of bracket. And Captain Peru, on his hot streak, he's gonna follow it up by playing Brick. So, these two are roommates, and... They play a lot. They play a lot of friendlies, so... They did have to play each other on Sunday in London. And Brick they had to play in London? Yeah, it, it was amateur bracket, so it was like, uh, it was a smaller pool to pick from, and they did make it fairly far, so they had to play each other further on. I heard that you made it out of the pools, but then got destroyed in actual brackets. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how it always goes in London, so no, yeah. no different there. Dang. I mean, London's really good, so like, no shame. That's crazy though. Uh, we're gonna be seeing, I think, Kazuya versus uh, Zero Suit. So, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Uh, I think Kazuya, unless like Zero Suit can find the kills pretty early, Kazuya is probably gonna live very long and kill uh, Zero Suit very early mm -hmm. because she's light and she uh, is like a little bit bigger, like pretty kind of tall, so she's pretty easy to combo. Yeah. So the second she gets hit by those strong moves, she's gonna die very quickly. Oh yeah. No, I think ZSS really needs to get a lot off of confirms because, like, if you don't get a lot of your neutral wins against Kazuya, or if you don't have an impressive enough neutral, then you're just gonna get beat out by his crazy confirms and crazy high damage. So yep. you definitely need to go into the matchup being ready to get every confirm you possibly can. Yeah. I need this. Sorry. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Captain Fruit popping no. up. We, we are okay, yeah. Go, going, going to zero Kazuya. shoot, going to game one. My guess is oh, that's nation? Yeah. Yeah, okay, maybe, yeah. I don't think you split Kazuya. Oh my god, Okay, no, it is small battlefield. battlefield. Okay, okay. I'll say nice. I think I would say Captain Fruit doesn't want to take Kazuya to FT right off the bat, but But yeah, definitely you're gonna wanna be walling uh walling Kazuya like that. That said, it's kind of dangerous to let them have center stage. Um, oh, gets the, the late follow up there. Yeah. That forts. I do know that special. sometimes uh, the uh, platforms can mess up the Kazuya combos. So I, Yeah, that is so true. We did just see that there, and there, there we see it again. But he does get the the uh, roll read in front of the down B. Okay, gets the forward air, forward tilt. But he's not getting a lot after these. He needs to get a finisher type move. Uh, combo Just setup. There to flip kick. That was good, yeah. Gets a nice percent. Kazuya not quite getting back to ledge for free. He's staying in a nice space where he's out of range of that wake up side B, which we know Brick loves to go for. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Is this the D Gen squad? Hello, hello, Alamir. 
Out in the air, for those who don't know. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. yeah Abuses he's... the armor on that. Catches him. Okay, yeah. yeah we can him. And that up is going to clap right back. Um, not letting him keep his lead for very long. And here we go. Back to neutral mostly. That said, this is a really scary juggle position for a DSS right now. Getting hit by all these upward moves. Kazuya has a lot of um, upward combos using his electric fists. Mm. And a lot of whiffs here. Not quite catching him on platform there. Does okay. The down smash to upbeat. Not that was kill quite yeah, yet, but it does do a percent. lot of damage. I feel like maybe you should have gone for a different follow up on that, but I like the, you know, getting your confirms oh. early is a good confidence booster, even if it doesn't kill. Yeah, it doesn't hit the uh, electric fist. That jab, though. Really interesting finisher. Oh my oh, god. Oh, the forward that, tilt. Yeah, the boot. The boot. <laughs> this is Sparta off the stage. Yeah. And Rage Drive is online. He needs to get yeah. the stock off Pronto or he. No! What? Oh no, it he drops like he... it. It looked like he got hit by the like, follow up, but then he didn't get hit yeah, with the finisher. That was really weird. Okay. Oh. And he gets this. Oh, that was oh, really right. good. Catching the DIN. We love to see kickflip spikes out here. That auto turnaround coming in handy with those jabs. Oh, yeah. Guys, he has auto turnaround can be super obnoxious to deal with. Yeah, pretty, pretty bad to roll against. That said, ZSS does have a frame one jab, so she can maybe try to stop it out. No, he drops shield and he dies. He blows up. Good God. That's that's unfortunate. Is it unfortunate, or was it just Kazia punching through everything in this path? <laughs> Honestly, if, if I'm a Captain Fru going against the next game, I wouldn't be too sh shook up. You know, that, that was just one one. That hiccup. was a close game. Yeah. One, one hiccup, and that, that kind of ended the game. Honestly, like. Yeah, if he didn't miss up that uh, up B. Yeah, it, was, it was still anyone's game, so not the worst. Not the worst thing to happen. He's going Donkey Goes, Kong. Oh wow. Okay, he, so we saw him play Donkey Kong in Winners Round One yes, earlier. He didn't feel very confident in his uh, ZSS. I, I feel like this might be a player pick. Like he, he they, they play each other so often. He must know something about this DK that we don't. <laughs> From Maybe. hours of crazy friendlies. How, how's his DK been doing? Well, he won his first game with it, so. Okay. Something might be going right, and we are seeing some crazy percent. Hello? 63 on Kazuya. DK, DK can really dish it out compared to a ZSS. Oh, yeah. Like, if you want to go for I only win neutral once and kill you, DK is quite the character to do it with. Yeah. That said, DK also has pretty good range, which Kazuya can sometimes struggle with. Oh, nice spot dodge on that grab attempt. Hello, Brother Rosa. Yeah, he goes through the super armor. This is a godlike matchup. Dude, they, they've both got the silver skins too. Hello? Yeah. Some hype color counter picks even going on. Oh my god. Yeah, but the, the, the one issue with picking DK is you do have to experience uh, DK's disadvantage stage. Oh yeah. Is horrendous. That said, Kazuya someone... has some confirms that it doesn't really matter what your disadvantage stage is like, Kajia? you're just gonna die. Yeah, exactly. Kazuya? Oh, he gets oh, the clap. That's a side V to up smash. So that's pretty good. I've uh, been personally bested by both these guys, so I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, oh my god, getting get the, uh, get the up throws. Oh, that up was bears. a really nice back air. Drifting like oh just gosh. back far enough to hit that. And he misses the balloon pop. Very unfortunate. So you say he's, he's pushing so hard. Oh my Armor's god, yo. Through. That was some heavy oh, shenanigans if I've ever seen it. Good yeah. lord. Oh. Captain Crew pushing his lead even more. Quick 15%. Oh, did you just see that beer burst down right, me? That was yeah. so cool, but he dies for that, so. That was cool, but he didn't misface it, so he's <laughs> gonna get punished for it. It's one thing to flex tech, it's another thing to whiff your tech. Yeah, exactly. And he is eating 70% of the stock. He. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he could have charged I have a lot of respect for that interaction, punished. honestly. I think he could have charged force mess without being punished, but. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. It might be one of those weird hitboxes. He where might have like not been sure if he was charging forward smash or up smash there. That's fair. Type of situation where you guess wrong and you die. Like, hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, not enough to kill. Does he get the strong? At, at 153 on, on smash. I don't think Kazuya uh, has kill throws, so. I think his back throw is pretty, uh, pretty nutty. Oh, that might be it. Oh, my God. Uh, but, he, but he has to be, like, you know, in, in disadvantage on the ledge in order Yo, to get it. So. I don't know how DK lifts the 200% against Kazuya, but... Yeah, I guess his moves are just getting stale, but that, that'll oh. do it. The DK almost crazy. almost doing it. I don't know. That, that was kind of close, if you ask me. That was surprising. If that was close. game one, I, I think this could have definitely went to game three. 
That's all I'm I mean, game say. one was close too. Yeah, exactly. Game one was close with the ZSS. Captain Peru on on a roll today. Captain Peru, our but man. That will be the end of his roll. As, he as destroyed our bracket, but now he's out of brackets. So. You playing Sprinkle on stream? Let's go. So up next. Next time. We have Sprinkle. Uh, this way. Here we go. Transition. Um. Oh, it's over here. Oh. You good? Yeah. Um. If you want to tell anyone who's outside, there's enough room that people can come back inside. So. Yeah. Sprinkle versus Diddy Dank. <laughs> Fortunately, ZSS Amiibo did not power up enough for that game. He, ga he gave up on his waifu, I don't know. True, yeah, what, what was that? That's enough out of you, so I assume he's trash talking. No, no, he's uh, sex talking. No, I'm not. He's what now? No, I'm not. Okay, Landon Underage, sex talking no, at the Smash not. Weekly. No, it's a lie. I'm putting this on Twitch.tv so it's no. immortalized forever. <laughs> so this is winner's round four. This is winner's quarters. Yes. This is, yeah, this is still best of three. Winners quarters. And they're going right to bands. They are not joking around here. They are out here to play. I think we're gonna see some heavy some heavies throw hands. We've seen a lot of heavies tonight, I don't know. I mean that's just it seems to just be uh as, as the week was progressing. Like, hey, maybe I should just play heavy. I guess, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I think, uh, especially in, the, in earlier weeks. Well, like, you, either, you either die a rushdown main or live long enough to see yourself play heavies. That's good. That's like you either die the villain or live long enough to see yourself become the hero, you know? Exactly. exactly. Heavies, definitely the hero. That, you know, heavies do be the hero around here. Here we go. Sprinkle Diddy Dank. Best of three winners quarters. So, I think... Oh, Wait, Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer. That's not Incineroar. Well, I mean, maybe maybe the Pokemon trainer has Incineroar in the third, fourth pocket. So. Perhaps. I mean, oh, is this a button check? Oh, maybe. No. Nope. Seems. No. Nope. Or it's some crazy nooch. They're just playing yeah, out just of their minds. Respectful. Respectful. Make sure you got the right characters. You know? Real gentleman, mind to diamonds type beat. You know. <laughs> but you know, uh, Sprinkle oh. does have a Pokemon trainer. Week. Well, he's he's cracked. He's very good. But also. I've heard he did ha he did used to play Pokemon Trainer before Incineroar, or maybe vice versa. He played Pokemon Trainer at some point. Uh, yeah. And I mean, this is definitely, you know, if we're just talking pure tier lists. I mean, if you're a person who knows their fundies, uh, Pokemon Trainer is definitely a character that can get you really far. Yeah, I mean, theoretically. And speaking of heavies, we got yeah, Charizard Yeah, I was going right to say. Now. He's at 100%. He's like, I'm not dying to anything early. I'm going hard, Charizard. You got a bull. We're getting some dragon battle out here, and he lives at really good DI. This is Bowser versus Worst Bowser, uh, which is not great for nah, Charizard. Nah, he's not Worst Bowser. He's got the best move uh, that Bowser can't beat, which is down B. That's true. Ba Bowser cannot turn into a top tier. <laughs> no matter how hard he tries, he cannot turn into Squirtle. And that Bowser bomb still not enough. Insane Dude, DI. Bowser's side B has been disappointing me lately. I thought this move was crazy, especially if you hit people no, off the top a, platform. It is a, a sus DI destroyer. I guess it is a frame six command that said, grab. Can't ever be that strong. Yeah. Finally off the top platform. Definitely. Insane that he actually lived that one though. Using Bowser's or sorry, Charizard's. Charizard is trying to type SMH my head. That's always so, the weirdest. He's what? He's fire flying, right? That was yeah, always the weirdest thing to me. not Mega X Charizard out here, so. Oh, is he? Is he Dragon type when he uh, Mega so evolves? For, for uh, those Pokemon stands out here, Charizard is normally flying fire type. Yeah. Uh, but if you use his Mega X stone, not his Mega Y stone, he becomes a fire dragon type instead. Interesting. 
but he's gonna become a murderous type right now if he gets this edge guard off on Bowser, which he did no, not. He get it. Gets the Bowser no, side he too, and suicide Charizard slam. not making it back from that. No Pokemon from the Pokemon trainer roster has a recovery good enough to survive that. But up a full stock. That's this is this is what final smash. So true. Correct. This, this is what's it. Yeah, Bowser with a lead. If you're one of those characters that can't survive the Bowser side, oh, he gets so scary. Yo, we're seeing some turtle combat now too. That's true. The thing is, you can just Bowser side you again, and he's oh, trying it, and it. No. I, that I, you know, was insane. I don't want to be that guy, but I did. I did. This is what I'm saying. What? That was. So, someone please clip that. That was so crazy. If you don't have a solid enough vertical recovery to survive the Bowser sides, it's a little crazy. It's a little BS. No, and he like mashed out of that pretty early too. Like that was. Yeah, like, he almost made it back with Ivysaur. I was actually very impressed. He like yeah, he did the like proper recovery. He just wasn't enough there. No, no, I don't. I, I think. Unless maybe you get grabbed at zero so you can mash out really quick. Pokemon Trainer just doesn't have the recovery to that survive the Bowser bomb. Right? Yeah, so. This Bowser is cultured. Yeah, Diddy Dank. That very great something. Bowser. Great to watch. That was crazy cultured. Diddy Dank, one of our favorites here. He's a, he's a bold-faced liar because he told me he was going to be playing Diddy today. But he just, you know. Is he even picking up Diddy? I, I, I did play Diddy. I got fucking three shots. Ooh, and here oh. we go. Astro Says, this top tier... Going back to the real top tier. Exactly. Incineroar. Switches off of that low tier Pokemon trainer to the real top tier. Insin himself. Everyone, everyone knows Insin is broken in VGC, so. That's true. He must know something. I mean, what is he? Uh, he's what? He's Fire Dark? Nah, nah. So. Is he dark Incineroar fighting? He got that intimidating prowess, okay? And in VGC, that, that shit's broken. So. No, but what's his typing? He's a, yeah, he's a Fire Dark type. Fire Dark? Once again, the Fire Starter is coming out clean here for Sprinkle. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bowser's what, probably? Bowser's like... Bowser's Fire... Oh God, the fire man. Dragon? <laughs> Bro, Bowser is a mess you up type. That's fair. Bowser's a, a bully type. He's a bully type. But getting bullied right now. Oh my god, insane. 30% only on Sprinkle Was that right the now. sex body? Was that Nair? I think he might have sp stage spiked him there. Oh yeah, Nair is crazy on this character. And he gets the counter. Right, Bowser forward air, pretty mean. Oh, deck. but no, he gets grab for it though. He's gonna lose his revenge. Does that, you know, in the final patch, can you just get rid of that? Does revenge really have to go away if the grappler gets grabbed? That just feels yeah, counterintuitive. If you don't grapple the grappler, you know. I don't know. I don't like it. He, he loses it if he takes 36% anyway. That's like his. That's like the character's main thing. That and ledge trapping. Make revenge better. Okay, sends him up instead of backwards. That's really smart, I think. Given the potential juggle situation, but that counter not gonna work out on the landing there. I was wondering if he was gonna try and do some of that. Incineroar cheese. Counter's just Terminator changed my mind. <laughs> oh, nice back air there, getting that stock. That was but. really good back air, evening up the stock count. This is by no means oh, in any character. Oh, revenge is the down air. That's, that's, that's gonna hurt even if it doesn't kill. Oh, that does not kill off the top. Did do sixty percent, which led to that up air killing. What? Yes. That's the thing is that 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 even missing the timing, I think that did about sixty percent. So. Oh yeah. Or maybe it did 45. The percent gain? Well, he countered a back air, I believe, which is a huge, like, oh, the yeah. amount of damage it does bonus is based on the move he counters. Correct. And oh, he catches the spot dodge damn. on neutral. That Bowser F smash is always just so menacing. Drop, the drop kick do be dangerous. This is now potentially Sprinkle's last stock in winner's side here. This will be a, I mean, Diddy Dank's great, but I think this will be quite the upset. Sprinkle has been performing exceptionally at recent weeks. Loser's bracket's gonna be pissed if either of these two are there. But oh, yeah, no. Well, that's that. We're at the point of bracket where there's only the demons left in winter side, so. That's fair. <laughs> All right, so, gets a little bit of percent off that flame breath there. This is, the, uh, oh, this is the scary part. Mints and years breath. Oh, he goes super low. And oh, and he, he doesn't make it. it. No. Oh, goes well. a little too low on the recovery. I was just gonna go into a whole spiel about how good Incineroar's ledge trapping is, but. Unfortunately, goes too low, too greedy. Those those up B buffs in patch 6.0 or whatever they were, not quite enough to save him there. And unfortunately, this is only best of three. Yeah, that will be Diddy Dank taking a 2-0 over Sprinkle. Well played by Diddy Dank, of course. Well played by Sprinkle as well. Just a couple of unfortunate misplays. So we're now at the point in bracket where I need to go yell at people who haven't played their games. Correct. So, I'm going to go have a quick tag with the TO. Do you want to keep the people on stream? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me take a look up. at the bracket here, so we got... I also have it up on this tab here, if you want to look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so while Justin is off uh, doing TO things, being a, a responsible person and helping this tournament run, I uh, am just a player. I do nothing to help anything along, so I'm just going to be here uh, talking about potential upcoming matches. Let me just pull up the bracket here, see what we're looking at. So... Sprinkle and Diddy Dank just played their match. That was that ended up going 2-0 for Sprinkle or for Diddy Dank. 
Winners finals? Yeah. Oh, Atom. Yeah, yeah. Ad Adam and Arif are playing their match right now. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that's my, that's my bad. So that's the other half of winners semis is going to be Atom and Arif. That could be a very interesting match. I don't think. No, it's semis. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So I don't believe. I, I that was that was well played though, man. Good yeah. job. Yeah, thank you. I, I tried to play a little more patient now. Maybe you should. You know what? I I, I can't talk uh, crap about you not pulling out the ditty then. Honestly, I'm trying. I'm trying to win. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, listen. I like winning. Learning. Like, you can always will learn. Come out eventually. 100. Oh, okay, right. Sprinkle I, I is not the player you learn against. Sprinkle's crap. Is this the other side of winners quarters? This is winners semis. Because after this, it's just winners finals. Yeah. No. Winners is really I'm ahead right wait. now. Wait. Oh wait. I say winners quarters. Yeah. Oh, it's because it says, it says this is semifinals, that's winner's finals. Okay, yeah. Right, yeah. Because for some reason you see here, it's like winner of loser bracket and there's an extra one. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, it's... No, this is winner semis. Okay. Yeah. So, Atom and Arif, I don't know if these guys have played on stream yet. I uh, I actually don't know if... I, I'm not going to say this is their first time meeting in bracket because I don't know that for sure. How do you, how do you change the number? They'll, they'll, they'll update it. Someone will report it and they'll update it. Don't worry. I think Sprinkle one. He'll, he'll yeah, report. Oh, word. This is what? Adam on the left. Yeah. Is it Arif on the right? Atom, right? Yep. And then we got. Yep. And then we got Arif on the right. And it's still winter semi, so that's okay. Yes. This, this, this touchpad's all kinds of. And then we got Arif here. So, probably. This, they're, what are, oh, they're, they're checking. Uh, I assume they're checking if they have tags? Or they're wait, just gentle. They're just gentlemaning the squad strike? Is that what's going on? All right. This might be the most base gentleman we've seen on stream yet. I guess this is allowed. This is, yeah, if they both agree. They can gentlemen to rock, paper, scissors. This is just bad things happening to good people at this point. Hello, username, phone number. Thank you for following. Oh. Nice to see you. Thanks for the follow, username, uh, two phone numbers. That's a lot of numbers. That's <laughs> a lot of numbers. But it looks like we might have a gentleman to squad strike. And it looks like Adam is picking Little Mac as his third care. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> like that. Oh, 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 teasing us a little bit. Meta Knight. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that, oh that's his actual song. pick. That's his real, for, that's his for real pick. Okay. This dude likes the Do not. characters. Oh, my God. Apparently. Dude, dude that's Galactonite. Like Hello? <laughs> so. Oh. Oh, boy. We got DK, Inkling, Pyra, Mithra. Oh, my God. So, I guess this is happening now. This is. So, we have the added mind game. What do you think the orders oh. are going to be like? Random? I think you got to anchor with your strongest, oh, right? They just said random. Random? <laughs> Oh. This is actually winner semis. Uh, so this is. With his main first. This is Arif has been part of the biggest clown fiestas this weekly has ever seen. That's uh, for sure. Yeah. It's the time that they. If there's a way for Arif to tamper with bracket, he's gonna do it. Like that one time in Grands, that game, that the final game of Grands was just Donkey Kong Piranha Plant on Temple. Oh my God, you are so right. Arif I totally about that. is a clown fiesta magnet, and here he is again, gelmaning to squad strike and winner semis. This is a, you know, pretty respectful pick, though. Funny enough, I was actually in friendlies before the tournament. I was playing with Arif and we were playing Squad Strike. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So interesting uh, little tidbit here that Arif had let me let me in on a few uh, a week ago. Pyramithra is actually his secondary. Really? Functionally, he says he he plays just about more of them than any other character that is Minkling. He knows a lot, he used to play a lot of when they came out. So he just, that he's felt more confident Minkling lately. So he's been playing more. Pyramithra? His Pyramithra, uh, according to him. I'm gonna. According to him, he, he let me know, but. <laughs> And Diddy Dank's out here having played against Pyramithra. Right. Diddy Dank, Diddy Dank so disagrees. I have played his Pyramithra. Diddy Dank disagrees on the quality of his Pyramithra. Let it be known, Diddy Dank thinks Arif's Pyramithra is bad. I don't think it's his worst. I don't think it's his best character. I don't well, think Pyramithra can yeah. be a bad character for anyone, really. That character's so broken. <laughs> True, yeah. Is it anybody's? Is it truly anybody's? But anyway, this is not what I expected I'd see today. We got Meta Knight versus Inkling. I am very curious to see. That what Adam can do with Meta Knight. I mean, Adam is pretty oh, cracked. Really good attack. Good attack. Really good. For those not in the know, this is Sprinkle's uh, older brother, and the two of them are just oh pretty good God. at this game, taking what out a Reef's main. That, that was a Reef's best character <laughs> taken out by Meta Knight. Dude, Galactonite should not be messed with. Canonically, one of the strongest characters in Kirby lore. Oh, absolutely. The Kirby characters in general just absolutely busted canonically. They are literal gods. Looking like Dragon Ball characters out here, but... Bro, they're right. stronger than Dragon Ball characters. Hello? Kirby War is a wild. Uh, Pyra coming out now, I mean... Honestly, Pyra versus Meta Knight sounds very scary for, uh... 
for both for, of for them. Both. Yeah. I don't even know. This is a matchup right, you cause never cause see. Because if you get like dragged off stage, we need to see some more Meta Knights in uh, top oh, brackets, honestly. Exactly I don't know that we do. I, <laughs> this character kind of whack. Yeah, that's why we do. Yo, oh, he falls out of the. Gets whacked right into the blast zone there. That's not much. Yeah, okay. but this, see, this yeah. is Adam's anchor though. This is yeah. the Mewtwo. This is the this is his main. I'm surprised that Arif put his Donkey Kong as the last pick. They ran them the order, random. remember? They, they just, yeah. It's just complete yeah. clown fiesta, yeah. Ah, I see, I see. They may as well pick random characters each time. Two of the better okay. players at this weekly is deciding, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Winter semis, just let's let's go for it. Like, you know. Playing one character well, you know, that's cool and all. Playing three characters well, now that. This is the that true test of skill. skill. <laughs> so, uh, Pyra's out, which means Mewtwo is okay. at kill percent. That said, being able to play Pyra well does not really mean you have skill. Let's just. <laughs> Mewtwo is. Oh, these days at hyper kill percent now. Most things Pyra throws out. Just like, Imagine being at 60 being at kill percent. Hey. Or Mewtwo. <laughs> Mewtwo's light as hell, and Pyra is just oh, Ganon, but block? better. Okay, but Mithra comes out. Honestly, Mewtwo's big enough that if you can get, like, you can get. Some probably cheesy combos, yeah. That, just looking for that oh. down air. Probably looking for the down air to up air. This is squad strike. And, oh, yeah. Or just the down Everything air. Pyra has is so good at hitting a blow edge. And that down air, no exception, of course. Oh, my God. Honestly, the one, one 12 on, on, uh, on Mithra isn't that bad. As long as he doesn't get, like, a uh. sweet spot or anything. It's oh, true. Fine. Sephiroth is almost like, yeah. he's yeah. got a bit of Marthritis like, in yeah, that way. Exactly. Well, like, like here's the other deal. Nares. If Sephiroth do gets, much. like, down on percent, he'll just get wing, and then it's like, you know, he now wins. Oh, but I mean, I think that I, th I don't think uh, Mithra was making it back there, but, you know, no, gotta send a message. Sure your opponent's oh, dead. Man. Sephiroth, you know, he needs to see the death of his opponent's eyes. Now we have two eyes. very explosive characters. This is, a, this explosive, I mean. Explosive, literally speaking, with Sephiroth. You hate to see, you hate to see DK versus a DLC character to wrap it up. really smart. He knew the timing of that. I do know that. one of two ways. Uh, the DK cheesing or the DLC character cheesing? Uh, I think uh, that that up air that is a most of the DLC, time. DLC is a little more alive. Oh my yeah, God, you don't see so this weak. going in DK's favor most of the time, but this is a dangerous place to be on the edge against DK. Heavies. I just want to say, so Arif has played Sephiroth a few times. Oh yeah, he has. So I feel like he actually knows that. some tech um, in yeah. the matchup. I mean, when you're at a certain point, when you're playing DK, there's no oh, tech that's going to save you. You're DK. He didn't, he didn't it's it. always going to be you. You're DK. So that's game one for Adam. So that's, that was... The, okay. okay. Ah, it is. Yeah, a, it's confirmed. Are we squad seeing? Strike. Are we seeing no character repeat squad strike? Is that? That's the real question. DSR, but for characters, you can't play the same team you won with. <laughs> Arif gets to go again, but Adam yeah, he, has to pick all new characters. characters now. Oh, I ban. I ban Mewtwo. I ban Sephiroth. Sephiroth. <laughs> Who else? Who else was it? Uh, Meta Knight. Yeah. Why, is it, why was it Meta Knight? Maybe all right, so let's see what he goes Meta with did, here. Actually, no, Meta Knight did get... Oh, picks the Meta Knight first. Oh, and then the color? Okay. The Galacta Knight, making sure. I mean, definitely it not. Worked. It worked out for him. Oh! Unless he wants to. Oh. He said he, he wanted some of that DLC keys better. for himself. He's like, I want a DLC. Zelda! Oh, okay. okay. Oh, this, is, this might be the full waifu team. We got Ooh. Zelda, we got Pyramithra. You gotta okay. channel your energy. Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable calling Inkling a waifu, but... No, Inkling is a, is a child. It's Inkling is a child, so... Uh, a squid kid. We didn't, oh, dude, we we didn't quite get edgy. there. We got Team Edgy, yo, look at that. Oh my god, the, 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 team the villains. Okay. So, so I heard you hype up Arif's uh, Pyramitha earlier. His Zelda is a lot better than his Pyramitha. Really? His Zelda, yeah, he just balls you up so well. Interesting. So that's gonna be... Uh, that's gonna be fun to watch. This is Team Edgy okay. on the left here, though. This we got Dark, we got Black Knight, Meta Knight. We got. You will notice. He, he's Dark Horse and he's going for the kill. We got Darkness, Mewtwo, and then we got Sephiroth, who's just an Edge Lord in his default Speaking skin. Which we got somehow even edgier Meta Knight. Yeah, this is like this is the the Black Knight. This, this is, is Darkest Knight. Tis but a flesh wound, Meta Knight. <laughs> and starting off here. I mean, Zelda, it's, it's weird to use this to describe this character, but Zelda is a little explosive sometimes with those aerial oh, sweet spots. Oh, literally explosive. Have you seen her up air? Hello? Also, it, like they're also fair, doing a lot of damage. And Mewtwo, very light. I feel like this is actually a bad match for Mewtwo because Zelda's got that reflector. Zelda's also got a lot of surprising disjoints that can catch Mewtwo off guard. Especially with that phantom. Oh, no, yeah. Mewtwo's <laughs> got. We saw him trying to go through the counter reflector. Mewtwo's got a reflector of his own, which could be really devastating are we, are for that phantom. If, if he does it close enough, then the Zelda's just gonna reflect it right back. That's fair. So he, you're gonna want to be careful with that. Are we gonna see some reflector breakers? Ooh, we'll have to see. But oh, Ooh, nice dodge on the shadow ball there. Yeah. Not sent to the shadow realm yet. Funny enough, Mewtwo at kill percent for a couple Zelda aerials here. Oh, 
gets the weak hit there on the lightning kick. Oh, looking for oh, maybe the up air follow up. Saw, just saw the landing option. Uh, Adam plays I, I very love, safe there. I love the way that Arif is just moving around this move too. Oh yeah. And just going for the up air and then going back to going back to ledge. Just having a hard time uh, hitting. It. Yeah, really just kind of staying outside of Mewtwo's effective range very, uh, very well. Oh, that forward tilt from Zelda is actually deadly. Do not sleep on that move. Oh, yeah, surprisingly strong. Oh, I guess the grab the forward. You never see online Zeldas even use their tilts, but hers are actually pretty good. Honestly, I think Zelda might even be. Oh, and speaking of strong forward, forward tilts, Mewtwo is going to take the slot there. Uh, oh, this is the Nintendo Switch having its RAM limitations shown. Yeah. Taking a few seconds. Like Pyramithra is too thick for this switch. There's a lot to load. But, uh... Speaking of loads, and I'm, I promise I'm not going where I think you are. I, Pyra does a load of damage and knockback, and which could be very dangerous for a Mewtwo at 100%. Oh, down air almost killing oh, off the top. Thank you, Hollow Bastion, for being somewhat big. <laughs> this character makes so much sense. That down air almost killed him off the top. That was just... Yikes. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Everything I, I, this character I, I, has. <laughs> uh, yeah, at like, yeah, 100 before the so, hit. Yeah. So Pyra Mithra, a lot of her moves... Specifically Pyra are like full crescents, but Mewtwo's back air, that is a crescent and a half. That is a huge back air. It does also stick out his little tail hitbox there. It, so. is, it is also a big hurtbox. Oh, Dash yeah. attack, just killing, no oh, questions so asked. I'm going to hitbox out there first. This is going to get... Uh, oh, yeah. So, so lose. I think as we saw this before, is Oh, well, it's scary. Making, big punish, I'm sorry yeah. for anyone who had epilepsy, but Sephiroth does not care for you in the slightest. So. Sephiroth throwing out the couscous. Couscous. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't get punished either for a while. I think uh, it was a little bit of intimidation factor. I, yeah, I think so too. I think if you try to punish that move, you just die to it. So you gotta be careful. Yeah. There's there's a world. It has, it has quite a bit of end lag. And so only ten percent of the set right Oh, now. catches the up B with the down tilt. Doesn't do it the second time. I also want to say, um, Adam's main Mewtwo is no longer on the table, and I believe that um, Arif has Inkling in the back. So that's correct. That is very true. Yeah, getting, uh, getting your main out first. I don't know if that's very ideal. Did they random again? Do we do we know? They must have. Man. I doubt that they started cheating. That's fair. Oh, oh and this Pyra putting in a lot of work as Pyra usually does. And that's gonna long. kill with oh, full rage. Maybe it's not enough to save him from Pyra here. That dash attack killing at 70, I think, before the hit on Sephiroth. Just so, absurd. We're gonna have to see Meta Knight go the distance. Uh, yeah. He's gonna really have to put it all on his Meta Knight. Gonna have to show the canonical right power level. Now. And, and the Inkling. Who would win? One fast sword oh. character or Pyra? I mean, let's not forget that in the previous match, it was it was Adam's Meta Knight that actually took out Arif's Inkling. So. That was very okay. true. I was, yeah, I was, I was wondering that. This is, this is still doable. He, he's got a little bit of extra credit on this one stock, though. It's okay. definitely true. He's already sitting at 40, oh, 50, 50, 50, 58. really interesting. I think Meta Knight has enough rage to where his uh, up here confirms are even more true. 69 at the golden percent. Will this be where the comeback begins? Nope, it'll oh, be where you get gonna, rollered. Yeah, go for the F -mask. Not enough to kill. This stage is there. pretty high blast zone, yeah. so. so. This is looking oh. pretty Dude, bleak. We're getting the whole stage inked up. England's gonna win on the ink percent here. This is also really good. Where's Judd? Oh, and that's gonna do it, surely. Yep. Roller just up, one, one. impossible to match out of. Well, squad strike game, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'm telling you, his Zelda's putting in a little bit of work. Fair enough, that's what Zelda. It, I don't know what it is. His What's Zelda just moves like no other. That Zelda was pretty clean. I think clean. what really happened was Pyra just got a bunch of free kills. Pyra did that put did in a lot of work. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra did, did like 300%. Got two kills. So, we, uh, this is a best of three still. So this will be the oh, final game of the set regardless. Uh -oh. Ooh, the Stati. Solid pick. Uh -oh. Intimidating music. Three versus three. You think we're gonna see any team switch ups here? Uh, you two? Honestly, I don't think so. You don't think so? Mewtwo, Sephiroth, and Meta Knight, probably. He's or he might switch. Ike? <laughs> and that'll be Meta Knight. He and was Marth earlier. Zelda, Donkey Kong. Oh, we're going back to DK. For, almost forgot about Inkling there. Might just forget about Inkling. Oh, the Donkey Kong may have been a misinput. Frame one Donkey Kong was not intentional. Aw, oh, sad monkey hours. Sad monkey hours. Uncage oh, the Kong. Uncage the Kong. Wow. Why, why on earth would he ever choose Pyramithra over DK? Honestly, like, why <laughs> why play the third best character in the game when you could play the best character in the game? I think you mean the third worst. Pyramithra? Huh? DK? Yeah. DK is the best character in the game. DK is not the best character. Oh yeah, he is. No, he is not. 
under no circumstances. We saw Arif putting in some work with the DK earlier that today. Count. That doesn't make him the best character. Right? What other character has a whole day of the week dedicated purely oh, to them? the same loadout going back to it. Oh, and actually the no same the same counts. order as well, yeah. DK is... DK just is. That's all he needs DK to be. DK is... One winged conk. Oh! That's the squad strike. Oh, he doesn't have his control. Oh, forgot to pick his tag. Oh my god. A little bit of teasing on the final match here. <laughs> oh, he did pause the game. Arif making his own rules as he goes along. We're not going that. We're not going 5v5. That's too much. That's too much. 5v5? That's only if it gets. If these guys meet again in grands. Then we can do 5v5. No, instead of five game bracket, just five man squad strike. I'm not Correct. doing 5v5 squad strike <laughs> if I make it to Grand. No, no, if Arif and Adam meet again in Grand. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can do five man squad strike for five to, for three to six to nine games. Who knows? Oh, Lord. All right, so we're going with the same order as it looks like. Not randoming this time. Yep, same order. And same no characters. Hopefully everyone's got their controls ready this time. He changed his Zelda color, though. I'm not sure. He doesn't have the best Zelda color, so he's he's messed up regardless. Oh, same order you don't from, like Green from Zelda? Research. Green Zelda's okay. I think all the Zelda colors are pretty good. Though. Everyone know, everyone knows the best Zelda is the dark purple oh, costume. The oh, that, that is the Zelda. best Zelda. By yes, far. yeah, that's that yes, that's just common knowledge. Other other one is the uh, is like the the pink one. Yes. I like I like the the blue one. It, blue, the blue. Uh, Zelda color? Oh, yeah. Despite some difference of opinion, uh, all of commentary does seem oh. to agree. Arif has picked the wrong Zelda. <laughs> and Mewtwo <laughs> seems to also agree that this Zelda needs to get out of here, not letting her back on stage. Any Fiori fans out there? Hell yeah, let's go. Fiori's win. Oh, walk, run up shield, looking like Smash 4 out here. It do be, yeah, grabbing on a shield too. Not initially that safe in this game, but getting away with it there. No. You uh, add four frames. So grabbing does not incur the full shield drop penalty, but you do add four frames to whatever your startup for your grab is. So a little worse than just up being or up smashing or jumping most of the time. Yeah. Oh. Just, like, like, oh, oh speaking God, of a what? little worse, that was a lot worse than what it could have happened. Oh, you Sephiroth. Choose, you choose big body. Sephiroth's out Sephiroth was posing when he came out there. Is that, is that automatic? Arif running with this momentum. Oh, yes. This Sephiroth needs to go the distance or else... Adam's gonna be in a poor situation. Well, get the oh, this Zelda is actually I feel cleaning. Like this is a really bad matchup for Sephiroth. Not even gonna lie. Distance Demon versus person who wants to stay as far away from you as possible. Like, yeah, true. If, you know, if you think of Zelda as the Arif equivalent, this is kind of canonically a, you know, matchup. Oh no, this is looking really bad, oh and Zelda taking God. another stock. Diddy Dank, very correct. Now he's gonna have to put it all on the. Uh... Oh. Well, 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 you know what? This then might I'd actually go the distance. I was that just was about to talk up this. I don't know, Pyramithra and Inkling against against uh, Metal Knight. He is fairly light, and he doesn't he doesn't have the most reliable kills. So uh, I think so. If yeah, if Metal Knight. Oh, get the Jabbox. Confirm on Pyra and give oh, me a shot. This is kind of crazy right now. This might be a dead Pyra. <laughs> Pyra does not make it back from these. The Meta Knight. Just like that, he exposes their recovery. Is now, anyone noticing that Arif's characters are taking longer to load in? It's like yeah. he's he's trying to ice out Adam. A little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Adam running with rolling. such momentum. Oh, oh hate to get roller. Run Good match though. Twenty nine percent. Even at twenty nine percent, that move's not the easiest to get out of. I mean, when dash attacks one of your best get up uh, combo confirms, it makes sense to That's get roller true. and stuff it out. That's fair, but exactly. you're gonna be dash attacking out. Oh, really? Good what though? Shield there. Yeah, Roller is actually pretty negative on shield, so... Oh, insane back here? Okay. This, this, if this Meta Knight makes this comeback, this is gonna be insane. Yeah. Oh, oh Meta Knight lives these, Meta Knight lives these. Alright, what are we looking at? I mean... Uh-oh. Some people... This, this is the last game, and oh my God. this Meta Knight has been putting in a lot of work here. Is he gonna get the reverse three with Meta Knight? He may. Yo, Hops over the roller. Did you see him slide on the egg? That was crazy. Ooh, challenging the roller there is very brave, but he gets paid off this for it. This is crazy even, but Inkling is off stage right now. Oh, that Meta Knight F smash is very strong. And also it's, very short. It's impossible. Exactly also very short. It has no end lag. Like. <laughs> but still, you know, if uh, if he caught a reef just approaching carelessly there. It has a lot Ooh, of Text tech. those. Insane tech. Good tech, good tech. It has a lot of startup, so you definitely have to read... Uh, Read it to, to be in a position to go for the absolute. Oh, absolutely. Oh, gets hit by Roar. That might do it. And the Meta Knight heartbreaking. The comeback was so close, but 
the lead proving a bit too much. Arif sealing it out. I think the whole venue was popping off of that set. That was crazy. I'll tell you what, after that set, uh, as a member of Loser's Bracket, I'm pretty pissed that either of these people has to be... Yeah, I got Speaking of Loser's Bracket, we're waiting on... Armenian. You need to go play a game, sir. I need to go play Chen. We I've never played Chen. Chen. Are me and uh, are me and Arif chilling or are we playing? Arif? Let's just wait a game and then you guys can play. Okay. Um, go get Chen. We're gonna break on stream next. We need to get Loser's bracket going. So. Yeah, Sprinkles lost to D Gang. So we have, we're gonna have Brick and Chen next. You want to come on stream? Yeah, I mean, you've been chirping me on, on stream oh, the whole I'm day. So you all day. Hello, hello. Cheering for me. Cheering for me. I don't know about that. DK is. DK is. So, what do you think of our next matchup? Um, do you think Diddy is a good matchup for Kazuya? Is it, who's it going to be? Is it uh, be Roots? Chen and, oh, Chen. Um, actually, speaking of Roots, I think he's playing his other game right now. Wait, where's Fermentos? He's he's just he's getting ready to play Rouse. He's getting ready to play Rouse. Yeah, he's, okay. just, he's just shaking it up. I think. Shaking up a game. Oh, who did he play? He played Day Night. Yeah. Very very close. I think Riles it was two one. Sly, that's yep. So Sly actually beat Riles' brother, and then Riles finished the job, and got him for him. Wait, Sl Riles and Roots are brothers? Yes. And then Sly and Atum are brothers. I'm oh, sorry, not Sly. Riles and Roots are brothers. Adam and, and Atum Sprinkle, and Sprinkles are brothers. Who are yeah. both in losers round five? They are. Oh, that poor losers bracket. That poor losers bracket. Gee, seeing two top three players in, invade your space that early is oh, never fun. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, winner's side is also equally stacked. I mean, Dude, this week has just been crazy. This week has been so crazy. I'm happy to report my best record ever this week. Where'd you go? Three and two. Three and two. Let's go. That's um, a pop up. Um, Who'd you beat? Who's, who's notable wins for you? Uh, day night was my probably my most notable win. That was crazy round one. Yeah, you were there for that, and then uh, Octo, and then uh, oh Octo, uh, and then uh, oh, I gotta check. Oh. The passion is out. Oh, people I'm are looking so at I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Wait, wait, wait. I can't look at them. I can't look at them. Yeah. What if my character wasn't touched? Oh, and then I'd be holding. Right. Wait, is the update live right now? It's it's up. Okay, okay, okay. So, sorry to anyone watching stream, but uh, they just released patch notes, um, and certain characters have gotten buffed and nerfed, respectively. Um, but we're gonna finish the tournament without the changes, so it's gonna be interesting. Some people might be popping off with the the changes, so. Okay, I gotta go tell my venue to do their job. Hey! Oh, did I have Chen and Chen on the names? Oh boy.
Uh, local Kazuya man complains about having to make multiple characters, I see. Yeah, what are some of these gentlemen for Swan Strike? It's crazy. So this is losers round four? This is losers round four right now. So here we go. Chan and Brick, this will be a pretty volatile matchup. We got Diddy versus Kazuya. We saw this earlier on stream, actually, so... It'll be a matter of how well Chen knows the Kazuya matchup, because Break has shown he does kind of understand it. People are popping off over the buffs, holy. Not bad, not bad. DK buffs. I'm DK talking. buffs. Let's go. It was DSS or Falcon touches though. That's probably for the best. No. No. Bring my character back. Who, Falcon? DSS. Hello? Bring my character Yo, back. Yo, I'm not, I'm not hearing whining from Thai Tears here. Hello? Thai Tears. Anyways, we are right back to Diddy Kong versus Kazuya. We saw this actually earlier on stream. So this is gonna be an interesting was matchup. Was it uh, the same? These two? No, it was the other Diddy. It was Roots. Oh, it was Roots. Okay. And uh, how did uh, Brick do last time? Brick managed to win out, but it was a really close set. So I think it went to game four, three. So yeah, Chen is already kind of dictating the tempo here. Oh yeah. So Chen versus Roots have some interesting differences in the way they play Diddy. Uh, Roots definitely plays a lot more aerial based and a lot more like aerial combo focused mm -hmm. whereas Chen his um, ability to win neutral with banana is very oppressive yeah very grounded approaches nice and slow will like not not afraid to hold shield and not afraid wait to land you, you out and yeah. you know what that's a lot of respect a lot of mental fortitude so it's what DK's uh, sorry Diddy like th really thrives at uh, and you can see him just kind of like completely dictating the tempo here. oh yeah getting his easy confirms not going much more than that however that was a really risky up B oh yeah the onstage up B whew. Without the explosion hitbox against Kazuya, you're asking for it. Oh, yeah. Banana, not going to nope. trip. Yeah, good roll out there. Good trip here, though, and he knows he has enough time to charge. Whew. Yeah, he knows his charges. Like, it's kind of crazy how he'll get the exact amount of charge. spacing on that peanut, though. Uh, using the invincibility, didn't... rage drives him to the blast zone, and this is pretty even for Kazuya right now. Kazuya can from open this up pretty easily, but he's, you know, he's been uh, having a hard time kind of approaching. It takes one big combo, and Diddy could lose a stock, and... If Chen takes the stock soon, though, it's not going to be good. Oh, he gets one. the That's crumple! Gonna hurt, though, 80%. I'm surprised he didn't get a kill off that, but. Uh, I think if he was holding in, he might have. Oh, the trip, though. Yeah, good DI from Chen. Oh, no electric there. That would have been death. Trying to get the Hell Sweep. Yeah, Hell Sweep not quite playing off there. Maybe just to actually go in between the two hits of Hell Sweep. Good recognition there. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, uh, yeah. Death. Banana forward smash. But uh, Chen, his lead went from. Play lane win dominance to, yeah, to only up. And what is not lame is how oppressive Chen's neutral is, though. Very brilliant. Ooh, good throw on that banana, denying him the dragon uppercut. Yo, I can't believe how crazy Chen's APM with banana is. He he, he picks it up faster than I believe is physically possible some days. It's it's nuts. He's tossing it out where you want to land. Well, and or speaking of nuts, dude, that pop gun. That he uses pop gun really well. It's it's kind of a meme, but like. It's not bad. Yeah, he gets a lot of free percent. It really well, like good tilts your opponent, over right? The edge guard. And good that's not enough to here. take it. But we do see Rage Drive on Kazuya. If he manages to get a stock and keep Rage Drive, that could be extremely uh, dangerous. But unfortunately, he's going to die. Gonna, yeah, get sniped out by that banana. Kazuya, very linear grounded approaches, which is uh, that was a very, food for Diddy. Club. Oh, yeah, very quick, straightforward game, but definitely didn't seem unwinnable. No, no. There's definitely... Kazuya can never be counted out. Uh, his conversion ratio is just extraordinary so oh yeah we, i think we'll see more adaptation for brick which means more openings which potentially means you know a more dangerous uh neutral game for chen or at least against chen and i believe um this is guaranteed top set uh, top eight right now so. yes this is no i think they're already both top eight i think yeah. this is just for this is top this is number seventh placing yeah this is number fifth so 
Here we go. Game two, back, back on, on FD. FD. Uh, this is probably Kazuya's best stage, so I don't see any real issue to change. It's a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bitch against Diddy Kong though, uh, where his banana controls all that horizontal space. Mm -hmm. I might, I might have actually gone for something like Smashville, just to have that platform platforms? to play around. But I don't know. Diddy gets a lot of extensions off that. It's pretty dangerous. It is pretty dangerous, but he's gonna land right in front of Kazuya. Uh, no punishment. Chen is going for these barrel technician plays, trying to get in, but doesn't pay off there. So. Immediate banana pickup. And we, we see some peanuts. We got the peanut gallery. He's using it like that uh, Game & Watch neutral B. Oh, oh my god, yeah, he gets command grab. He's blowing up for that. And Kazuya could have steal the banana and run away. 100% is not kill percent for this character, so he's still got plenty of life on this stock. So I will say, when I've played Chen... But um, that will. Yeah, that takes the stock real quickly. But when I've played Chen, one of the best things you can do is steal his banana. Mm. Because of how reliant on neutral... Uh, he uses it for stealing it from him when he can is a huge swing. Oh, reads that rolling with the monkey flip though. Definitely. Um, taking away the banana would be huge here, but Kazuya with the seven frame jump squad, really hard for him to contest the banana pulls. Oh yeah. Where like Diddy can kind of just get up an aerial, Kazuya loses even if they react at the same time. So yeah, gonna be hard. He's gonna have to deny him like just kind of grounded space on stage and then take away his opportunities to pull banana. Mm -hmm. But really hard when he can't get back on stage. Rage Drive might be enough to do it here, though, if he manages to pile up 15 or 20 more percent. That's all it takes. Oh, that forward smash going to kill him. Up at 150, that's enough to take that stock. So only 40% on Diddy Kong right now, and this game is looking extremely dominant right now. Oh, yeah, he's about to lap him percent, too. Next uh, combo starter might do it, but the up smash, that's almost not killing. It. Whew, good DI from Chen. Yeah, Chen has had pretty good DI all night tonight. Nothing too sus, so. Oh, going to trip him up there. Just a two-hit combo, nothing too punishing. And Ooh. we are seeing some smash attacks get thrown yeah. out here. You know he wants this stock proving, dead proving and gone. why this game is called Smash. You just yeah. mash the C stick, I and mean, the good thing that Press the yellow stick, Ooh. and speaking of the yellow stick, that smash attack's gonna take the game. DI just barely not coming through there. I almost thought he was gonna live at the end. Oh, uh, it was a very quick 2-0 in a handshake, and me as TO, I'm excited to see that because it means brackets going faster. It means brackets smoothing. Hello. So we're, what do we have up next? Who's next on stream? Uh, yes, you do. Do you want to play right away? Yeah. Chen, are you going to play right away? Okay, okay. We're going to run it right back to next round, which is this is fifth place in. Okay, we will do uh, winners so finals right after this. Okay. 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 No, we're no, no, no. So now we have Sprinkle versus yeah. Chen. Maybe a little bit not as good as really good though. That's really good. So Sprinkle, having seen that set, immediately bans FD after winning RPS, and I don't blame him in the slightest. No, after seeing what just happened there. Oh yeah, Chen's clearly very comfortable in FD. He's, oh. His ability to control space is just really, uh, really good. I have a controller, Johns. My old controller's broken. So ah. If I had my actual controller, you know, I would've won. Ah, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. Uh, Diddy Kong's so cute, I can't focus on the match. Diddy Kong's so kawaii desu So kawaii desu yeah, please keep this PG fellow uh, cute. I can't say cute in Nipponese. No Pokemon trainer going straight to Incineroar. Incineroar is not here for any shenanigans. No monkey business. He is here ready to wrestle. So we got a bottom tier versus, you know, somebody a little higher up on the branch. We got a bottom club. tier versus a power bottom. I mean. Oh gosh. Did you see this in Keep It PG? Can't talk about the power bottom. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Sprinkles often shows that uh, Incineroar better than you know anybody at our at level. At the end can of give the day, the better player wins, not the better character. So uh, there's like there's a middle ground where worst player wins with Pyromithra versus <laughs> Doctor Mario. <laughs> Once again, getting more Pyromithra hat hate on chat. So. I mean, they just got nerfed, so like you know maybe I can't even. Did talk. they? Did they actually? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Another and another round of nerfs. Not going for the balloon. Unfortunate. Who did Sprinkle lose to? He lost to Diddy Dank in. Uh, winner semis. Oh, I'm gonna armor right through that F smash. Also, Sal, good to see you here. Hello. 
Sal, do you see my ZSS? That's a schmoo. He must have just joined stream now, unfortunately, so Dang. he did not get to see you get sauced on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkles did a great job of avoiding Banana, though. Keeping uh, his incinerator quite aerial. Oh, Revenge is on deck. This game's super even right now. Yeah, if he side bees them at the ledge, that is uh, lights out for... Diddy. That said, it's a very committal option to go for, and Diddy Kong has really good ways of keeping him out here, so... He's, yeah, he's going to be employing them here. Up he's on stage, but going to lose the stock Yeah, that. that's going to be stock. A little aggressive, a little aggressive. Oh, let me fix this. This is a weird spot. Oh, going to catch him with the jump side B. Is that just not going to kill? Oh, man, then it's in a going off stage. Dangerous. You knock him slightly off course, and that's a character that cannot make it back. And Shannon going to start piling up that extra credit. He saw his teacher after school, and he said, give me some extra assignments. I'm trying to get into Harvard. <laughs> and now he's up to 73, 80%. Oh, that's not 7. Make it 90. Banana in hand and ledge trapping. And the F smash killing off the side. Diddy Kong could not do that without rage. My goodness. And Chen now collecting extra credit for his second stock, but finally going to take that. Only 13%. Oh, it's an extra on the top board. six. Oh, whatever. Eh, it's top. It's top. It's top there. Don't mind me. Just fixing my bracket name. Of course, of course. Meanwhile, Chen is fixing Sprinkle. Uh, oh, yeah, dude, he's sandwich. got a huge percent lead. Yep. Unfortunately, Knuckles not in this game, but oh. sentiment felt all the same. Can we get DLC skins for characters? I would pay, like, five bucks. I just play for, like, 99 skins. cents for the me costume. No, that's for Knuckles. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I want Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. I want, like, Wedding Suit Bowser. Wedding Suit Bowser. I want Bowser. Dry Bones. Bowser. I want Dry Bones Yoshi. Dry Bowser? Yeah. Dry Bones Yoshi, it's a thing. I mean, it, is it a thing? Like, not really, but like, it could work. They're the same shape. It would be a cool skin. Like, you Dry Bones you is Yoshi shape. mod pack for that. Yeah, okay, then I can't play online every day. Oh. oh, okay, not enough to take it. Good DI. He's still up a full stock in like 70%, so. Oh, okay. Revenge this... on deck. Wow, I'm gonna get him with the explosion. Oh my god, the barrel technician comes through. This guy got a PhD in barrels. PhD in barrels. Chen, I think, is actually a math student, so, you know, he calculated a little bit there. Chen looking dangerous today. I gotta say it. He is, a, he is on a hot streak. Man, swinging. I think if Sprinkles goes down here, this is a huge upset. Maybe Chen is just like our anti heavy ace. <laughs> he's the hero here to destroy he's, the heavies. He's the hero to destroy all the Although, heavies. Although, I, I, think, I think that's more like a villain at this point. We are a pro heavy venue, so. Right, we're going to see the Diddy Kong again, and Sprinkle loyal to his Incineroar always. This is the best of three, right? This is blue Incineroar. This is still best of three, yes. Okay, so he is on his tournament stock here. Tournament game, not stock. Oh. Called Charizard a Dragon Sight? Oh, this guy doesn't know it's fire flying. <laughs> Bro, dragon was an engine on this game. Except for Dragonite. <laughs> there was exactly one Dragon line. Yeah. And very even game right now. I think this is a much better stage for Sprinkle. Um, using How's those that? extra side blasts or platforms to recover and also hide under it is really important for Incineroar. True, it gives him the mix up on that high recovery that he likes to do so often. And uh, and I think that getting too much flat space to Diddy Kong is a very dangerous game. It is, it is, a little bit. Uh, but also, you know, those platforms off the side gonna kind of hang closer to the edge and make oh, side wait, wait, even wait. more deadly. stole the banana, this could be huge. Center with banana, but Diddy's at 46. There's nothing much. Oh, he, he caught it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So Diddy Kong has a really, like, surprising. He uh, said, give me three stacks of rage. Oh, no, he only got two. two. And yeah, that's going to be not going to have a chance to use it, unfortunately. It's kind of been the name of the game a little bit. Sprinkles will call out his damage with uh, whoa, whoa, revenge. Whoa, whoa, Chen built diff. Chen Holy built dude, diff. Chen is built diff right now. This is. Chen's coming for straight bodies this week. And speaking of bodies, that body slam. Holy. Yo, down smashes that count as spot dodges, like, oh <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, my Lanta. Up throw back air. The bread and butters. Gonna delay his get up there. Smart choice not getting back air. What do you think Sprinkles needs to do here to kind of just change the well, tempo? Well, that was a good thing. That up smash on shield, knowing dash attack was not safe, catching him stock there. Yeah, sometimes you just have to call your opponent's movement. Say, I know you just keep jumping in my face, like, eat this up smash. Hello, hello. Part of a complete breakfast. Verisify GG, hello? We got a first time viewer. 
we are right now in top, guaranteed top five right now, um, placement. And after this, we're going to have winner's finals followed by the rest of finals. Losers? Losers finals and then grands? We're going to have, yeah. yeah, winner's finals, losers finals, grand finals, I believe, for the rest of the night. Finish off, hopefully before 10. Rough. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be about that. Assuming no reset. Well, yeah. And considering that the games could go best of five. Um, pray for sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> Play, let's, let's pray, pray for sweeps. So we can get out of here. And let's go. I'm oh, wow. There's tons games. of first time chat viewers. How's it going, Holy, DJ Burns and go. T Buxes? Thanks for joining us on this weekly. Hola, hola. You here to support anybody in particular? You're just here to see some good Smash right, gameplay like that back here. Is Chen Ooh. calling in his goons? Get that. that Chen's trying to get the spirit bomb energy. Dude, we got the spirit bomb in the background here of the Final Fantasy ending. On Ooh. Northern Cave here. Eats the banana with the revenge. You're gonna eat 34 oh, off yeah, a week dude, down there. Woo. That revenge actually mattered there. And dude, these barrels. Uh, Chen, Chen, you know, talked to his pyrotechnician this morning and said, "Hey, I need these barrels to come in clutch." And yeah. they have been. I I need these barrels like sniping people. You know. Oh yeah. Get them off stage there at 110. This this matchup is a little more even than you know. It looks 65% is kill percent for Diddy Kong oh, if he does something risky like up on stage again. There. Oh no, no the, the stage spike from the up. I don't That's think such anyone expected that. That was crazy. I know Sprinkles was not expecting that. that. I would he not would be happy about losing to that. Not gonna lie. Well, uh, Chen viewers are pogging. Chen viewers are pogging. He is now. Chen, Chen fans are 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 are. are just... It's Yuki. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, that was a sheesh moment. I've ever seen one. Really, just knocked him straight into the stage. Chen, two owing Sprinkles, who won, who won last week? Ch yeah, Sprinkle won last week. So That's crazy. Going out at fifth place is a huge setup. Also, Chen is now in top four, guaranteed cash prize. Chen, so. bit of a giant killer this week. Yeah. Let's see if he can take yeah, out any other big name. I was going to say if me and Adam are playing straight, that they're playing. No, no, we need winner's finals right now. Okay, you guys got to play off unfortunately. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who's, uh, who do we have on winner's finals? Diddy Dank and... Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we can update that further. Wait, did Riles, did you beat Adam? No, oh, no, no, they're playing. They're playing now. Okay, okay. Bro, if Riles beats Atum, I'll be very vilified. Cause, very vilified? Yeah, because he, he beat my ass up. So, we are now going to winner's finals. Jumping around the bracket a little bit, just so we can make sure stuff gets time Held the message for a reason. Yo, I'll, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I'll allow that. Hunter XTTV. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, or Reef and Diddy Dang. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah. I, no, no. Oh, oh no is right. This, this is gonna not be the winner's crazy. Finals. Crazy. Yeah, we were hoping This is for. not gonna be a quick set. This is gonna be. This is gonna be brutal. Now, we've seen it both ways. We've seen Hayden close out a Reef, and we've seen a Reef yeah. run through Diddy Dang. Oh yeah. Um, so we're gonna get a volatile really? set. Okay, so, I know that's the thing. That's kind of sucks. I felt bad. Like they, they told us to play off Reef. Me too, please. So true, so true. Um, we are going to update the scores. So this is winner's finals. This is going to be wild. A reef and Diddy Day. Are we going to see Squad Strike come out again? I don't know. Uh, no way. No, no way. way. No, no. We don't have time for that. I don't think I don't think Diddy Day is uh, confident enough in his uh, three-player, three-character roster to go up against the Reefs. And I don't think a reef wants to meet in winner's finals. I think he's past me. <laughs> no, never mind. He's trying to always down me. You know, I, these guys did just leave for a quick walk before this match. Maybe uh, talking about the matchup with each other, trying to trade uh, tips and tricks. You know, the so here we go. Friendly partners, so a lot so of familiarity. This is best of five, meaning that, you know, I think these two have played the most best of fives at this weekly. Oh, they played a lot of best of fives. Not gonna lie. And we're gonna see FD first. Uh, I think this Bowser. is a very safe pick for Inkling because sticking away the uh, Bowser bomb extension is really important against Bowser here. Yeah, and gonna control that horizontal space so well with that Inkling dash, and uh, you know just like back air oh, dash grab. Oh, bomb there. So yeah. update the switch, right? The, the buffs haven't come through. No, yet. the buffs okay. are not come through yet. So Arif is playing an unbuffed Inkling, uh, so he has a John. What buff did they change for England? Oh man, like five moves, side tilt, F smash. Wait, uh, what? Yeah, uh, less end lag on charging, on getting ink. 
So, I don't know if you noticed here, but Eatling is fresh out of ammo here. Yeah, not a situation you want to be in. Oh, he's not going to have a place to hide either. Oh, there we go. Charges back at full. That was really quick charging. Holy. Ooh, almost dying off the top there. Good DI. Oh, yeah. Nice recovery there. I was worried he wasn't going to make it, but Inkling's recovery is very high, very fast, very difficult to deal with. Good Wooling Fortress. Going to catch him. Just kind of meandering out of his shield. Yeah. Dave Dank's playing very safe at ledge right now, just holding shield. He's doesn't got a solid lead anything. right now. He definitely doesn't want to do anything too risky to give it up. Yeah, 30% lead against Bowser. Half tilt. Yeah, that's going to take the stock. He's got some strong tilts, and once you're above 100, you got to be scared Ooh, of everything. That's Bowser gone. That was wow. some insane charge, and it still didn't kill. Heavy boy. Heavy Koopa King. Oh, he angles the fire up enough to catch that forward air, but then gets another one off afterwards. Don't you love when you try to jump over flame breath, but they just angle it up on you? You try to jump through the fire and the flames, and you get burned, unfortunately. Especially on expert mode. You're gonna roll through the fire <laughs> Especially there. Especially on expert mode. Whirling Fortress, so good at a shield. The Bowser main special. Nice double jump Reef with that back air. Yeah, Reef is really good at spacing these back airs and playing safe. But Ooh, that said, what, do you do now? You just what does playing safe do against flame on shield? Oh, that Bowser bomb doesn't quite hit him there. Is down the Bowser bomb? I think down, down, D. down B is the Bowser bomb. Okay, I'm I've been mistaken. calling it the wrong thing all night. But down air, I'm not. I apologize sure. to all the Bowser mains who have been. I feel like it's turtle yelling. something. There's no way it's turtle something. I actually think it's turtle something. There's no way. Like, I mean, he is in full shell mode on the down air, to be fair. Oh, oh good my upward God, angle that tilt to catch the jump from ledge. Speaking of heroes in a half shell, we we here stand our heavies, he heavy heroes. Bowser out here. Oh, oh my that goodness! That would have been crazy. If he didn't get that air dodge through, that would have been light. Also, nope. he is now lapped in percent, which is not something you want to see from a character this heavy. Oh my God! The the scoop. He got scoops on that. Bowser bomb. What a, what a painful move. Break shield, kills you at 110. Oh, yeah. Spikes Speaking you from the side. Body slam him with that forward throw. And now he's just one tilt away from taking this match. I don't think a reef. He would have to play perfectly from here to not lose out. And oh, the Tinder that, swipe. Yeah, Tinder swipe. The Diddy Dank special. We love that Tinder swipe here. You're hovering in my airspace a little too long. Uh, I just called a NATO airstrike on you. You can't be in my airspace. It's a violation. Tinder swipe. There we go. Game one, Ghost, Diddy Dank. That said, Arif is a person who will turn up in games three and four. Oh, yeah. Arif. Uh, Crazy adaptation from uh, in Arif here. And is he going Pyra Myth? Talk about adaptation. Let me let me adapt to a better character real quick. Yo, don't sleep on Inkling, but <laughs> I'm not sleeping on Inkling, but Pyra Myth is a Pyra Myth or do be broken. And obviously, he sees something in this matchup that... And he's going base color variation, I believe, so... Ooh, I like to go uh, reverse color variation yeah, to mix up some people. Always make them, like, thinking you're the wrong one. Exactly. Or I go for just, like, the blue costume, because... Yo, he gets 40% and immediately switched to Pyra. That was... Maybe a bit greedy for yeah, he doesn't know. He, switches, Bowser's but... definitely not a kill percent yet. You can put that back. Back in the chamber. Maybe trying to catch him with, like, a cheeky F-Smash. Honestly, I would be very careful, because Pyra... For Mithra, sorry, it seems like she could get beat out by Tough Guy. Bowser's free uh, super armor mechanic at low percents. Ooh, side B. Okay. Is he going to get to land on the platform? No. He, he gets the balloon. Okay, you know what? Good Line man. Cheering Good for man. Diddy Dank now. He's our hero. Getting the balloon there. Going to F tilt him coast to coast. And oh, he gets actually, actually saved, saved by the fire. Yeah. yeah. But I think uh, Arif did that intentionally there. He's at 150 now, though, so. The stock is on borrowed time against Bowser. I don't know if you saw that, but did he take use the platform moving to get in faster with that forwarder? That was super cool. Nah, I missed that actually. And Bowser yeah. bomb. Platform side B extension. Gonna take the stock. I think side B's Bowser bomb. Dude, he missed the balloon with that air. Yes. Okay, you got you got the forwarder balloon. Let's All go. Right. Let's go. <laughs> All right, 16%. Oh, we might have to add a balloon counter because Diddy Dank is racking them up. Ah. Uh, flaming end. What is fire breath to flaming end? <laughs> <laughs> the win neutral for free button. Yeah, it turns out the, the sword made out of metal beats the hot air. Mm. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Who would win? Are we going to see another side view? No. Ooh, okay, up throw. Up throw? Is he up air? A lot no, of rage, no continuation, up. yeah. I don't think that's as true as it was in Smash 4. Oh. It's definitely true at the low percents, but not, not anymore. Uh oh. He's oh. got no sword. He's got no sword. Danger. Okay, he's going to be that okay. Was dangerous. 
finally, the down air to take it. Not back air, down air? They look they, so They similar. all look the same, and they're all so broken, yeah. so. The big move. The big hot crescent aerial that kills. Oh, yeah, that air is it. Wait, that hit below. Oh! Wow. Dude, these down angle board tilts are insane. Diddy Dank clearly knowing this matchup. Oh, yeah, and that flame breath, too. Oh, oh. what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Gonna pile okay. on a percent because it isn't a knockback? That's not enough percent to kill, unfortunately, but that was pretty optimal, I have to say. Yeah, if you waited out a bit longer with the flame breath, you might actually, have actually been able no, to. You know what was optimal? You get the percent lead, and then you suicide. Oh, but he was at like 50, so maybe too yeah, much. Yeah, maybe he could have mashed out of it. I was thinking percent lead and then Bowser, like down B to spike, if you could line it up. Because you can push him into the side. Oh, maybe. Uh, that'd be cheeky. That would that'd be, be cheeky. crazy cheeky. But Anyways, Diddy Dang, Dang is up is two games now. Two games to zero, and... Arif has tried the power mithra, he's tried the inkling. Let's see where he goes next. Back to Old Faithful. Yeah, back to inkling, he's true main. Sometimes not gonna mess around too much. Through with, you know, the character you're most comfortable with. And he's won this matchup before. This is not it's not impossible for him. He's 3 0 him before. I swear, every time I see this inkling skin, all I can think of is Arif. He really He owns this inkling he skin. He owns this skin. The like, A cab inkling. The live left inkling. <laughs> the Kong Kong Rider inkling. Yep. And oh, squid. the B reverse Ooh. ink there. Oh, so booyah. the one thing I like about this matchup for Inkling is that Bowser is extremely easy to get ink on, and then you can get some crazy percent combos on him. Oh yeah, yeah I mean even Bowser has to respect the knockback growth on Inkling's ink. Oh yeah, because I think we talked about this and one week. And he pops week. a balloon oh, with the side B. Imagine using your opponent to pop a balloon. That's kind of metal. That's a that's a that's a you know a lot of mental damage. A lot of mental. Oh yeah. That's I, I don't know how you come back from that. I mean, oh, and the downer, gonna take oh, it off the side. Great he DI. He was in the top corner. That was the type of move where I'm not sure if that would kill or not because Bowser moves are just so silly and broken. Okay. Down I mean, smash, not gonna do it yet. Oh, he tries to eat that bomb, catch him recovering there. So. Oh, good berry, that should be the end of that. Yep, that's gonna take the stock. There's no mashing out of Inkling Berry at 160. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, gets the ink there. Yep, forcing him to shield with the uh, bomb and then hitting him with the dash grab, the inkling special. Gets more ink there with that neutral special on platform. You started to kind of cover him in ink like you were talking about a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, and like you can see the percent racking up for it. Let's see if he gets up to the full 1.15 times, right? I think we said knockback. I believe it's something like that. Oh, 100%. Okay, forward throw to get more ink, really smart. He is running a bit low on ink. Booyah, not gonna do no, it. Oh, nice. Uh, combo DI and he gets back to full link. He's recharging his ammo, not gonna let him. Oh, did he air dodge? Okay, no. He's okay, he's gonna be okay. D Dank knows how to recover with Bowser really well, making that recovery look way better than it actually is. And oh, fortunately, it's almost, not that good. Yeah, he had back. to go kind of low to avoid that bomb. Arif looking uh, larger in charge here on the Yeah, stock. he might take this game three. You might see reverse 3 0, but I don't want to jinx it yet because Diddy Dank certainly knows how to pull up. And Bowser certainly knows how to take stocks. <laughs> Bowser is looking like a swamp creature right now. Bowser, like green ink. Black Air Force energy, he takes what he wants. He doesn't He doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that down and forward tilt. I like that down smash to cover the rolling. Doesn't quite connect, though. Caster curse? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nice we, beer reverse. We live the for the caster curse. If, it, if it's caster curse, it just means that... Good splat bomb, but he's going to find the that tech. That was a really good tech. But now he's completely covered, looking like Shrek in this business. Somebody once told me. The back throw is going to roll me into the splat Speaking bomb. Speaking of rollers. And a backer. Oh, not going to find it. Ah, uh, oh, he goes super an, low an for that. Oh, no. I think he meant to land on stage with that. Oh, rollers. This, this not going to be dangerous. Fire breath. Two more moves and Inklings at kill percent. 40, bring him to 60 with another move and it's suddenly dangerous. That was a really weird. Did you see how the splat bomb just like got sl slowed down by the fire breath? Yeah. Yeah, it's he crazy. He didn't care. He's walling out these splat bombs. He doesn't want to interact. <laughs> Not with this lead. And I don't blame him. Yeah. Uh, one of Aerith's strengths, I think, as Inkling is using the splat bomb to cover a lot of space, especially off stage. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw it earlier. Take nice a stock. forward air. We'll yeah. Do it. So he was still in the end leg of his up smash there. So I think with an extra knockback. Also, holy, we just got a bunch of follows. Hello yeah, to just chilling through two four. And we've had DJ so many Burns. first time viewers coming in. It's crazy. It's good to see you all out here. And I think we're back down to two. <laughs> we got raided though. You know. Wait, did we? Did I miss that? Yeah, we had 13. 
We didn't, no, no we it, wasn't, didn't it, it wasn't a raid, raid, raid. Okay, okay, no, okay. no, no, sorry. It was like an unofficial raid. Okay, okay, okay. All right, game I, four. I hate missing notifications because I always seem to just barely not see them. It's like this box is small, man. Bro, that's part of it, yeah. I'm telling you, we gotta like zoop, 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 you know what I mean? So I gotta update the score. Arif has now a game on the Arif now belt. on the board, 2 1. This is game four. This is um, Diddy Dang's first counter pick, though. They're going back to oh, FD. Oh, no. I, yeah, FD. So this was pretty rough for Arif the first in game one, but I feel like he's kind of learned a few things from the first two games, so there might be some adaptation going on. Oh, that Tinder Swipe catching that ink as an unsafe option. Oh, and reading the shield. Just kind of scaring 92. him in the corner. I don't know. I like the stage for Bowser a lot. Yeah, I, you know, originally I said this might be a good stage for a reef, but Diddy Dang seems to know what's going on here. Likes to, you know, I mean, Inkling like getting space. a lot off the platforms, you know, a bit more of a ladder combo, extensions with up throw and nair and back air and stuff. Well, and also likes to camp around the platforms, like you said, um, which, you know, are really important Ooh, to the way nice. it spaces. That said, Inkling is getting percent back, and this is pretty even right now. Yeah, it just needs to not take any uh, stray hit here, and... Uh, That's a lot to say against Inkling. <laughs> I know, it's wishful thinking. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Oh, Speaking of don't get don't hit, get hit that's going to be a stock. The roller. If there's something not to get hit by, it's that move. All oh, right. wait, do Down we have Ridley theme on music so. right now? Yo, I, I like me some Metroid music. Uh, are you, are you, I think you were the one who was telling me uh, you really liked Ridley theme. Yeah, I think I used it as my music counter pick uh, a couple times I've been on stream previously. Fortunately, I'm not in bracket tonight. I decided to not play tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, give yourself a break or just a lot of, just a really lot of entrance, so you just wanted to kind of manage. I wanted to run commentary. Hello, I've had a blast tonight. Let's go. Or, you know, were you scared of meeting me in bracket again? No, no, you're easy. You're definitely a platform, DK. Hello? That DK was going to get sent back to the zoo. I don't know. I don't know about that, Chief. We'll see. We'll see. Those DK buffs, I'm going to be What Wait, disgusted. Okay, what was buff by DK? Uh, his jab, too. Okay. There's more armor on neutral B. There's more armor on neutral There's B. There's more. It starts up earlier. That's so cursed. We saw that win you a game earlier. Yep. Uh, against, uh, I've, I've actually uh, beaten out, like, a lot of... Disgusting moves with that neutral beat. Oh my god, Forther's gonna take it there. Wow. Just barely enough. We're gonna find the kill with it. If he was slightly closer, that wouldn't have done it. And I just realized Inkling's neutral special is a lot like Bowser's in terms of how it controls space. Oh, oh insane good tag. tag. Yo, did he definitely know that? has not missed those. Uh, he has not missed attack all game. You know, Bowser's recovery is only as good as your ability to attack is. Unfortunately, that's gonna take the stock. Another roller forward smash. Okay, 30% extra credit now. This is anybody's through. game. I'm, why do you think he's down throwing at 0%? I thought you'd normally see the up throw traditionally. Wait, who? Uh, Arif. No, down throw's better at 0. Are you sure? Because he's getting nothing off it. Well, I think against like mid weights it's better, but Bowser's just heavy enough that you can fastball and land first. Because mm. when you're a heavy character, you actually take less knockback from throws like that. Yeah, yeah, until later on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this could be dangerous. Bowser is completely covered, and the damage is piling up. He is up. a green, mean machine. Beer burst on the splat bomb oh. to mix him up there. That up Not enough ink. Goes for the downer. Okay, Bowser oh, no. bomb. Eighty percent. This is last hit for both characters, I'd say. Okay, he's getting a little bit of ink here. Arif oh, really needs to, to find a spot to kind of grab a bit of ink. They are. Inkling is dashing all over the place, really abusing oh, that. Oh, good jab. Crouch. And the new oh, goal, that man. is a lot of percent from the fire breath on ledge. That's gonna be I, it. That's gonna be it. This might. Yeah, that's the stock. That might have been. That's really hard to di. I think at that position. At that percent. He died off the top. Yeah, there's it's no. It's called flying slam. My bad. Okay. Flying slam. I have Bowser been corrected. Bomb's for sure, though. That thought, was a crazy oof. winners final. Arif was looking really strong. I thought he might kind of go for the reverse three, but gonna be closed out by Diddy Dank. Oh, yeah. And I think we're still waiting on uh, Riles versus uh, uh, Adam. Oh, they're still playing? It looks like it. Let's go, let's go check on them. Yeah. Go, go, uh, give them some encouragement. Woo! Woo! So Chen is currently waiting in loser's semis. 
Uh, I'm waiting on a couple sets. Uh, yeah, loser sent me the anglers. Loser finals. I thought we were farther ahead, so. So we're going to be having losers finals next. We don't know who's going to be playing yet, so still waiting on some info for that. Let me just go check on them briefly. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go fill my water bottle, and then we'll have stream uh, updated with loser semis. Cheers. We're back. We know who won. Adam and Chen, baby. Adam and Chen. I feel like we might have to get a second stream going sometime. Also pronounces Atum. Atum? Atum? Atum. I asked him about it. He said it was Egyptian, so I'm not oh. sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Adam on the left. And Chen on the right. Kirby. What is going on over here? Oh, are we getting, getting some hand warmies? Yeah. Adam practicing his hand warmers on Kirby CPU on Dreamland. Hello? Wait, is this Hazards on Dreamland? This is Hazards on Dreamland. Hello? And the CPU is not letting you walk around freely. How rude. Speaking of rude, oh good lord. Just bullying the CPUs right now is Adam. We have to entertain stream. I, yeah, I walked away from stream and I, I feel like we lost a viewer, so that's my bad. Loser semis.
no chance. <laughs> Wait, is this is this a uh, this is the song I think it is? Yo. Yeah, yeah, who wants to see a sesame bow? Yo, yo, yo. See a sesame bow? Here we go. Mewtwo versus Diddy Kong. Loser's semis. Winner gets to go to Loser's finals where... Who's waiting for them? I think it's... Aretha's waiting for them in Loser's finals. This is the fourth place game. This is some hype... Some hype stuff on stream. And oh, immediate... Immediate reflector. That... Mewtwo's looking dangerous in this matchup. You want to come and commentary? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, let's go. Hey guys, uh, Ral's here. Okay. So, so yeah, we got Diddy Kong versus Adam with his Mewtwo. What a weird matchup. This is oh. a crazy weird matchup. We've already seen Adam without the reflector on reaction to that crazy banana shenanigans. Maybe, or maybe the predictive, but. Maybe. Um, I, I know you, you're, so your brother, he yeah. plays a lot of Diddy Kong. Definitely. So. You know a little bit about this matchup, I think. Um, yeah, if you, uh, you obviously you want to get Diddy's banana, so and it looks like Adam's got that on deck. So oh yeah, um, should be able to mess up mess with Diddy's day. Uh, you know, trip get a banana trip into something big. Uh, Mewtwo can def definitely have the kill power to do that. Yeah, and I we have mentioned this earlier. China is very banana focused Diddy Kong, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to your brother who plays a lot more scrappy. I for would sure, say. for sure. Um, um, Chen, so, is, Chen has got sauce with the banana, for sure. Speaking of the banana, though, Mewtwo yeah. stealing it there. Mewtwo also looks really funny when he's holding items. He does, it's just floating, it's hilarious. It's floating in his hand. So, if, if Chen doesn't really want to interact, that's just time for Adam to charge a Shadow Ball, and you can get some... Did he just reflect on people? I don't think he did. Yeah, I don't think you can actually... Like, when you get hit by that, it sends you in the air, it doesn't like, reflect oh, true, you like true, Mario's true. cave. Um, that up smash, though, is going to take the stock, even the stock count. Um, a little bit more even game. Diddy Kong can definitely get a lot of percent, but that said, Mewtwo's yeah. got some dirty hitboxes. I would, I would worry about uh, being, being in danger of death in, a, in, a, in about 30 more percent for Diddy Kong. Here. Yeah. Like, uh, Mewtwo's got kill power. And you just finished playing him, and he, he I'll has some nasty reads uh, with uh, Disable he's and got disable stacks. Reads. He's also got, uh, he's, he likes to use them. I'm trying to be quiet. I want the players to hear me. But, but <laughs> he's good with the re with the reflector into the forward air. He likes to go for that. So yeah, we just oh, yeah, right, right there. there. Um, but that that would merc Diddy Kong any day. So uh, a lighter character like Diddy Kong. Speaking of the thing merc, is, Diddy Kong is slippery enough to kind of avoid it too. For so. sure. Yeah. Um, it's, I don't think it's quite a true combo at all the sense, but it's reflect. definitely a really good mix up, especially against like fastballers. For sure. Oh, the Ooh. banana! Wow. The yeah. So he goes for the unsafe uh, up smash there, so he would bait the approach and then gets the fall up off the banana. That was really smart. Chen is, Chen is starting to run away with this. Uh, Adam definitely wants to take his stock before Chen gets too much extra credit. Yeah, Adam is definitely throwing a bit of crazy stuff out here. That up smash, forward smash there, a little bit. Yeah, miss, miss grabs. Oh my god! Yeah, Just damn. a nice damage with the banana down smash. Yep. <laughs> Dude, these trumpets are blaring. This yeah, game this is, this is pretty great, hype. This is a great uh, song to play, play with. Oh, oh wow! The punishes the whip smash. confusion there. Wow. That's and some pretty good kill power. Yeah, you know, that was kind of like Adam's game to win, and then Chen reverse two stocks him. So first yeah. game goes to Chen. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if we're gonna see a character switch from Adam. Uh, I think we're in best of five territory now. Yeah. Yeah, this is still best of three. It's only a winners finals, grand finals, losers finals. So, um, Adam might be. Oh, first. we're going to Northern Cave. This is one of Adam's Hi. favorite stages. Hi. And we've got one wing angel. Um, I'm sticking with the Mewtwo. I would say. Best of three. Best of three. I would say that. Uh, uh, I was wondering if he was going to switch, but he's still sticking to his guns. Uh, if he didn't let Chen run over the last stock there at the end, uh, I think it would have been a lot more even. So let's see if he can get that in this game. Mm -hmm. Get this he definitely games. had a lead early first game, oh, yeah. but Chen kind of ran away with the game. Which can kind of happen when you're forced to approach Diddy Kong. And you can see the banana float in his hands. That's so <laughs> it silly. It looks so janky. I think he it, grabs the banana there. I think Adam's mainly charging uh, his Shadow Ball to get a big combo at low percent. I don't really think it's worth really shooting the Shadow Ball in this matchup. That's what that he said, it can like punish. Diddy Kong likes to camp with banana a lot, so if you have you can, Shadow Ball... You could get a good punish. 
Wow, just goes for the raw <laughs> F smash for you. Oh, almost intercepted Diddy Kong there. He knew he was going to pick it up, but he just raw F smash from that. was crazy. Like, going for that edge guard, he gave uh, up stage presence and he almost lands. died. Really good it. DI. Wow. This stage also has pretty, like, fairly sized blast zones. So. I didn't know that. Now I do, so. Oh, wow. Raw it's smash kills. As, it's actually not as big as Cal's, but it's still, like, bigger than, uh, uh, like, uh, small battlefields, for example. Yeah. I used to care so much about uh, that stuff in Smash 4, but I don't in this game. Wow, nice three piece from Chen here. Oh, yeah, 46% right now on the. Like, that's all extra credit, too. Okay, that Nair's gonna catch the banana. Oh, up. nice dash attack. Almost that was killed. Really cool follow up. Chases him. Tech chase. Oh, will this be a kill? No. Wow, that was throw, a really smart that cancel. Sure. That's nice. gonna kill. One, One kill, 20%. One of them needs two, two kill throws. Probably the, be probably the better of the two, yeah? Uh, I would say. Yeah, up throw is more consistent, but back throw Kills is way more yeah. menacing. Nice! Bow was really Look at that smart. combo with the boost Yo, up tilt! That did like 56. He almost, 53? Adam literally almost took a stock there. That was almost that so was clean. That was so crazy. Wow. Oh, and that slower shadow ball. Wow! And double swipe. Completely shipping the momentum. Bow, yeah, that was crazy comeback on that new stock. Chen oh, he just nares out of the aerial banana. That's really smart. Chen is not out though. Chen with a well placed confirm might be able to end Mewtwo's life. Mewtwo's oh, a pretty yeah. light character. You know? And like, Decon can even get some platform extensions with the smash attacks on the stage. Oh, that's not that. I can't believe. Oh, that's dead. He died. Are you to that. kidding me? Okay, well, maybe this match is just super volatile. Oh, holy! An amazing snipe from the banana throw from Adam. He didn't have enough charge on his uppy. No, not quite. Did he's a little bit uh. Vulnerable after getting hit, so. Wow. Amazing game for these two players. So, going to game three, what do you think is the stage counter pick here? Oh, honestly? Uh, small battlefield. Small battlefield? <laughs> uh, and the music wait, counter pick? Wait, wait. Is, that, yeah. is this Tekken music counter pick? I think he might do uh, Metroid music. That's what he did for me. Oh, he did Metroid music. Mega Man. Okay. Mega Man. What's the choice? What's the choice? Yo, there's some insane Look. picks. Oh, I thought he was gonna pick Shadow Man. Fucking banger, Mega Man 3. Okay. Snake Man stage. I think he's picked this previously on stream too. Uh, this is a banger. This is a banger of a game and a banger of a song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see if the um, music counter pick can save that. Unless that was Chen. It could have been Chen. I couldn't tell who, who, who picked the music. Could have been any of them, I guess. Could yeah, it could have been any of them actually. So who knows? Um, all right. Charging Shadow Ball and setting up an area. Both these two characters do yeah, what they Yeah, getting their set play devices on deck. Exactly that. This is a, they played this on game one too, so. P I think Pina is actually an underrated tool uh, for setups and combos with Diddy Kong. You can, mm -hmm. get some, you can get some little two pieces off of that. I know. Uh, Shen has definitely been really good at using oh Banana my. or Peanut here. Adam's going really aggressive by the ledge there with the, with the double dares. Trying to end his life. Wow, okay, nice good read. dash tag to catch the air dodge away. Once you hit the confusion, uh, it's, you, just, you just gotta react to what they do, you know, or get a get a hard read. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get some really nice damage with Mewtwo that way. Nice I think the, the hardest option to deal with is jump, but at the same time, you yeah. can get the hardest punishes off the jump. Yeah, you can do jump up there or jump uh, forward there one or two. Mm -hmm. Jump there, I guess. But. Oh, he uses the platform to get the explosion, and once again, the pyrotechnics coming out. The barrel technician. <laughs> All right, then on deck. Oh wow, the stall in the air oh, saved dude. him from the banana hit. The insane teleport cancel. That was so cool out of yeah, there. Yeah, Adam got those. Wow. Yo, and Adam is not going for any uh, pummels. He's just going straight for the throw, trying to get his opponent off guard nice. there. Chen, and that's gonna kill. Chen landed a few down smashes. He went for one there, didn't get in, got got back thrown, but that's okay. Uh, right now is prime kill percentage. Mewtwo is surprisingly safe. Uh, his, he has surprisingly yeah, yeah. little end like in a lot of his moves, and he he's definitely getting caught off guard here by it. <laughs> and oh yeah, he's taking all his time off stage. He's got all day to recover. Okay, okay he's really back. Scary. Tries to catch the double jump. Wow, amazing barrel. I'm surprised it didn't blow up. If that blew up, I think Mewtwo is gonna die. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, nice get up attack to beat there? the Nair. Oh. Really I don't think he expected that to reflect. Oh, into the banana. Adam. Oh, this is... Dude, is okay. that back air? Yeah, I think back air, yep. As they say, nice back air. Nice um, back air. Nice back air. Okay, up throw. Chen's nice trying to work shot. Up. <laughs> Chen's working on trying to fix Adam's lead. Wow, what the... Yeah, he's definitely... Was, God, did you see that sick with it. <laughs> he's sick with it. Oh, yeah. He's got the little monkey dashes. Oh, oh nice punish from Adam. Nice par. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. A little bit extra damage. Yeah, there he gets the explosion. That was a pretty good move. People don't understand that. Bro, I yeah, Barrels is actually a broken. <laughs> it's a, it's pretty good. It's not coded right in the yeah. slightest. And the fact, that you can, the fact that you can control them and stuff is just the hilarious. The fact that you can control like Pit's arrows, that stuff is actually insane. Yeah. Nice redacted. Uh oh. <laughs> I wanted to say it too. Wow. Ah, uh, the up Completely. smash into up smash. Yeah, catching both options. He essentially there. had both options, all options covered there. That up smash is way too fast, and now he's dead. And this Completely is final stock. Final this stock. is yo. This is one more stock. Literally Ooh. one more stock for both characters. Literally. And I'm looking for a banana confirm. This winner does damage. get fourth place, so this is you know. Or is big. loser gets fourth place rather. Winner goes on to third place. At the least, right? Let's see what happens then. Okay. This is very scary. Oh, he dodges around that dash dance there. Oh, the pass <laughs> the is confirm. No, that one's a fall up there. Oh, that's a lot of percent. And he's off stage, giving Diddy Kong lots of time to get his banana set up. It was just the way he wants. Oh, wow. oh okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the angle he wants. Uh, oh my God, up. down tilt confirms. That down tilt's also equally as dangerous you as know, the confirm you know, option. You know, loves that. That's not gonna kill you. Yo, he got all the pummels he could in there, though. Uh, Adam is absolutely at kill percent here. Let's see what he can do to mitigate this. Yeah, Dude, he he's the some... peanuts here. <laughs> he's just chilling. Dude, he's getting beat by these nuts. I think, like, uh, you know. And he can't quite parry. Dude, he has just, really weird he's timing. He's so big. Dude, the bananas oh my... still hit him there. Jeez. Oh, this is. This, this Yo, is definitely... he's at 160. He is out for blood. This is more even than people think, I think. You two can get a nice Oh, confirm. no, he doesn't hit the banana. So one of the craziest things about King Kong is he has a lot of pancake. Um, he does. If he's, sm if he's spamming that forward air, yeah. Forward air, back air, even up air has surprising pancake properties. Holy crap, this is insane. Adam is playing out of his mind not dying here. Oh! That's not enough to kill, though. Diddy Kong can make it back. Oh, Chen is so wise, charging it. So he doesn't get no! it. Oh, oh, what an amazing set. Too far, too far. Two amazing plays. Adam is God. out. Damn, that Holy. was crazy. Wow, that offstage exchange at the end was so big. That was so crazy. Both players. Adam had to go deep to get something crazy, and oh, Chen man. caught him like landing in the wrong spot. That instant rolled up smash. That was crazy. <laughs> so, where is uh, Arif? Where did Arif go? Hello? Oh my god. Dude, that was a sheesh. That was a turbo sheesh. Yo, yeah, dude, you've been doing tearing it up, Chen. Let's go. Pardon? So yeah, Chen got sent to losers by Arif, as people in our lovely peanut crowd here are saying. Peanut yeah. gallery. Diddy Dank, yeah. you're waiting in like grand finals. I am. Whoever wins this yeah, next yeah, game, <laughs> who do you want to play the least? I want to play both of them very badly, <laughs> uh, to be honest. I haven't played Chen before, but I also just beat Arif. So. You haven't played Chen before? No, not That's in bracket. Surprising. Not in bracket. I, I guess mean, you I just did on other sides of the bracket. Yeah, I mean, I played friendlies with him like three months ago. And like I, I did pretty well in those. Wait, so like, three months ago? That's before we started our bracket. Exactly, season. exactly. We we, we grinded offline a little bit before at a friend's house, but uh. Rip squad strike dream. Oh, that's that's. Bro, true. I'm not playing squad strike, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have Arif and Chen. That's right. But yeah, um, this is gonna be a pretty interesting matchup. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting, especially with uh, Chen playing so hot, but like a reef also uh, uh, knocking him down into. Uh, well, and a reef like typically does better in longer sets, and we are back in best of five. So well, that's true too. Yeah, reef has a little bit of time to think. And are those notches on your controller? They are. They are notches, so I can try to hit my forward tilt a little bit better. Just movement in general just feels a little more uh, fluid. That's really cool, huh? Yeah, that's cool. But like my analog stick is now kind of like uh, chewed up. Yeah, it's, it's not even like chewed up, it's just like loose now, if you want to like feel it. 
A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, like the controllers like, do end up feeling like that. Like, um, oh, I see. Like, like this one feels a lot more like loose. Like, no, it feels a lot tighter. So, like, for for like better. Which one's like, mine? Um, this one's mine. Yeah. This one here is seeing a little bit more love. Okay. And then yeah, this yeah. is my newer one, which is a little bit bouncier. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and then try this one again. And oh yeah, that one. <laughs> that one's really loose. That yeah. one's been beat up. Yeah, I, I've had this one since like I've had like the, the GameCube like when I was a kid. Oh yeah. So this one has been you been being used for like twenty years. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you see the info about the Panda, Panda Global controller? I did. Oh my god, the Panda controller looks so good. If I had like the, the money right now, I would definitely be buying it. So does it have all the notches and stuff too? Um, I don't think so, but I'm sure like uh, third-party companies will be making like face plates for it with notches. Because mm -hmm. that's how I got this one. It was through a Multi Shine controller, or not Multi Shine. Yeah, no, it was Multi Shine. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, it, it was like. Oh, it costs a pretty penny, but like if you like if you just get the shells on, it's a little bit cheaper, and mm -hmm. then you just do it yourself, hmm. and then you can make it whatever color you want. Like if you want like a an orange one or like a like a silver one, then you, then you can get like that that uh that shell. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. But now we're going into losers finals. I think they picked Smashville. Yeah. I'm interested to see who we're bringing out. All right. Yeah, they're, they're sticking to their guns. They don't want to mess around. No, they, no, no pyromethra. They're going for first place, and I gotta change Sorry. the scores. So here we go. Game one of potentially five. So, Not on Smashville. We might have to get a uh, balloon popper. We got a five game set. What do you think? What do you think of the balloon count? I know you went for a few when you played uh, Reef on the stream. <laughs> I did. I, th I thought it was kind of funny. Only because I was in situations to go for them. Yeah. And no. actually, one time I was actually like mixed them up a little bit with my movement because like I, I went for it. So I went like a little bit ahead instead of uh, camping back. Yeah. My favorite thing is when you hit the balloon and then get the like hitbox extension to catch your opponent's. Oh, that's really hard guard. because you both have to be at the balloon. Oh, and yeah. they also have to like let you hit it. Well, like it also like delays your falling a bit. Yeah. Um, and you can also sometimes hit the balloon and then fastball better than you originally wanted to. Okay. Oh. He goes all the way underneath. That was crazy. <laughs> Although I don't know if it really paid off for him there because, you know, Diddy Kong got his banana for free. That's true. But now we're oh, uh, okay, no, he doesn't make back. with banana. So the Not thing about um the rockets or the, the barrels, is that um, they have a lot of horizontal movement, um, a lot more than you might expect. Yeah. So it's kind of thing where if you're just a little bit below ledge but far away horizontally, you can get back to ledge pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah, not, not the uh, tallest recovery, but definitely going the uh, horizontal route is a lot safer. And like, as you can see the way he's landing on stage with them too, they have a lot of drift yeah. options and that corridor is going to yep. take it. It might have been bad DI from Chen trying to grab the banana there, so. Mm -hmm. May not have killed as early, but nonetheless, it did kill in this situation. Oh, that, that the okay, oh, two up airs into oh four there. That's a pretty big combo. Doing 64%. I think he had some ink on him, too. Yeah, the, the extension thanks to the uh, moving Smashville platform. Getting hit out the of the barrel. Smashville platform is always, you know, trying to. Oh, oh my God, he Andy catches the double them. grab. Yikes. That was, was that a zero to death? Um, that's a great question. If not that, that was a great, uh, great sort of like, yeah, sort of combo there. <laughs> that was crazy. I kind of like string. And okay, uh, okay doesn't go okay, too deep. That was yeah. really scary for a second. Yeah, luckily the uh, there's a lot of mileage for Chen to make up here, and a reef catching the banana is not what he needs right now. Uh, Reef's still holding advantage really well. Even he's though also he, like pressuring a lot, like he's going out towards that platform. He's you yeah. know. Not letting Chen do what he wants. Well, I mean, Arif was in... Oh, that banana was on the platform. I didn't even see that there. Not so anymore, but Arif was in the uh, sort of situation where he can really just p uh, push advantage and, you know, not really lose too much because he's already up two stocks. Mm -hmm. Definitely but, using his advantage. But now he's up one stock and uh, also 65%. Oh, uh, yeah. Big percent lead. Turb like, all the extra credit. He's got an extra grades worth of credit. Yeah. Chen racking up percent with the side B. Mm -hmm. 
These peanut blasters not quite gonna shoot <laughs> anything. N not gonna, not gonna be. Uh, I don't, be he's, reversed. You know, he's, I don't know what he's shooting at. It might be some elephant in the stands, you know. I assume it was uh, he was trying to be reverse it and just couldn't get it out either time. Yeah, I will say, one of the things that can be a really good way of hyping yourself up is getting some sick B reverses. Um, <laughs> yeah, d just to make sure your movements in check. Yeah. Like, uh, like one of the things I like to do is in between stocks. Uh, you know, you're waiting for your opponent on the angel platform. You just do some beat reverses quick, hype yourself up the yep. next stock. But unfortunately, not working out for Chen there. Yeah. Show them that you're not scared. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna get punished for that. Up being the stage. Also gonna be taking a little oh, bit of percentage on top of that. He super far out and then makes it back to stage instantly. That's flexing. Uh, I know that. I know that Chen likes to do that. He likes to bait out his opponents off stage so then they can and try then, to hit him. Yeah. And then the second they go out, he he blasts off. Yeah, and speaking of blasting yeah. off, that's gonna take a Definitely stock. Definitely not gonna be mashing out of that one at like what, what percent was that? Like 130? Yeah, it was like 130 or so. It's 1-0. Yeah. Best of five. Yeah. Uh, not 2-0. 1-0. So I wonder where Chen counterpicks to. We're going to small mm. battlefield? What's yeah, small battlefield it is. Um I, I imagine a reef band final destination, so. Yeah. Oh, are they going for music counterpick too? They oh, are in fact going for the music oh. counter pick. What game? Are, are we getting are we getting um series uh, music fans? I'd be surprised if there's oh, oh Tekken. Tekken. We're getting I, some I know none of the Tekken songs, so I, I don't even know if you picked a good one. They're like a whole new genre, so yeah. I mean like fr from almost all the Tekken songs I've heard, they're all pretty good, so I doubt it's gonna be a bad game. Okay, for a second it looked like Chen was gonna go for a character counter pick, but he <laughs> chose not to. Sticking with the, uh, sticking with the Diddy, seeing, it, seeing if the stage pick. Sticking to its peanut gun. Here we go. Game two. Oh, just like he that. goes way off stage. Oh my that goodness. was if extremely he, dangerous. If he, hit, if he hit him with that banana, he, he would have been dead. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, that was so close. He kind of just slippery enough to avoid that. Now Chen fighting back. After being in put such a scary situation before. There's a lot of uh, throwing up back air, forward air, all over the place right now. Yep. Definitely, these characters abusing their broken moot nares. <laughs> they're, they're, they're super fast back airs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ooh, that was a catch really him. good roller, catching the landing. Yeah. Arif is really good at that. Yeah, good match by Chen, though. Not getting punished for it. Mm -hmm. Still going to be off stage, though. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, he, he yeah, hits him out here using banana. his banana setups against Chen. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say using his matchup knowledge here. Yeah, that's a really good forward smash too. Because he get up attack would have sent uh, Chen to uh, tumble. So, in oh. game one, we saw a situation where Arif had a lead and then immediately got a crazy spike to take an even bigger lead. Yeah. So I think if Chen can avoid that type of situation, he might be able to keep the keep the game more even. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, if he can like avoid. Uh, just like going off stage as much and sort of making those like riskier plays then and yeah. he should be able to uh make it a little bit closer this time oh he yeah. kickflips into the but bomb. still not finding the stock you know oh, that back here finally gonna take it so say reef might have been able to uh to just chip away and not maybe get a crazy zero to death but that's nice here's a start of a combo for diddy kong doesn't get too much off it only 18 percent that said, Arif hasn't made any percent back, so he's still kind of in a poor situation here. And Donkey, Diddy Kong here is sharking these platforms that Arif likes to jump on. Yeah. We have seen against other uh, other weeks and other sets, uh, Arif really likes these platforms. Yeah. So, did, uh, Chen oh, here. I'm not going to hit him with the barrel, is that's going to suck. It was kind of weird how it just like went right above him. Yeah, not only doing damage to himself, but also missing the lead. But going to make up a little bit for, for uh, that forward smash there. And Chen has actually really evened up this game. Yeah, he, uh, he was really fighting at a disadvantage before, but he's just slowly uh, climbing his way back with these mana combos. Climbing back to the top. Uh, going to go for another uppy, not getting punished that time. Uh, this is loser's uh, finals right now. Sheesh, let's see. Running overtime here. we got a big ass bracket. We are running overtime. Hell yeah. That is very true. <laughs> so right now we see a kind of reversal situation where Arif is the one camping with the banana. <laughs> I 
don't see if there's no reason to approach, then why do it? Oh it's my god, like he gets that. A, I'm surprised he didn't go for a forward smash, but it might not have been a fast enough. Yeah, he might have not believed in himself. Or maybe he could have done banana into roller? Oh, well, I honestly, sh I, should, it, I shouldn't be ghosting for, you know, players who can maybe hear us. Honestly, uh, when he threw the banana, either it's hitting or he's shielding, and no matter what, yeah, grab uh, you, you can grab, yeah, he, even like spot dodge. Oh, nice for destroying the, the peanuts. Is that killing off the top, sending them into the star cave? It's now an even game, even stocks. Only 28% extra credit, which yeah. is only like one or two Diddy Kong confirms. Yeah, getting the percent back right away here. Chen, not taking anything else. Except for a little bit of ink. Yeah, not really wanting to approach with, you know, all that ink that uh, a reef can, can stack on. Okay, nice kick flip. And like you mentioned earlier, you know, he, he didn't really lose the stock super early, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's looking a little bit better for Shen. But I think we're seeing a similar situation we saw earlier this game where Arif is holding on to the banana and kind of denying Chen a lot of his favorite options. Yeah, oh, I guess a double trip because he rolled it back into the banana. That was... Kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Although force smash the wrong way, I don't know if that's the way I'd want to force smash if I had. A I think he wanted to get the damage more than anything, and Just that like is going to take the stock. And Chen, kind of clapping back literally with that forward smash. We might see a game five situation at this rate. Yeah. Very back and forth games. So, what kind of counter pick do you think we're seeing next? Do you think we're going to go um, back to Smashville? Because we do not play with BSR right now. I don't know. I don't think... Uh, I don't think Arif really, really like the distance between the two, so I think he might want to pick a smaller stage. I do know Arif has been taking Hubble Bastion a lot today. Mm. We are going back to going Smashville. Back to yeah. Wanting a smaller stage to kind of keep Diddy uh, in check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also saw some crazy like extensions off of the moving platform. So. Yeah, exactly. And I know Arif has played a lot of... Uh, previous Smash games, so you might be used to the confirms you can get off the moving platform. Mm -hmm. Good dash attack into up air. Not gonna make too much else. Ah, it still it. catches the defensive option. And right now, uncontested, 42%. Oh, it does get the forward air in there, though. Not able to catch it while jumping out of shield. Oh, oh Pharaoh's going crazy. Don't know where they are Pharaoh's now. unfortunately... Oh, still, wait, still where the are frame. they going? Yeah. And everyone says that you can't control barrels. There's no way that was... Uh, I mean, that wasn't being controlled by Shed. <laughs> there was some other hand there. Yeah. Maybe it was Mr. Sakurai's, though. Yeah. Oh, gets the banana wow, on that board I'm picking it up after. Let's go for the back throw. Not trying to go for any edge guards, really. more so just trying to trap Metal Ledge. Oh, he gets clipped by the uppy there. That said, oh. uh, yeah, Arif yeah, now has the yeah. banana, and he's going to get the next smash. And he finally gets punished for those uppies uh, back to center stage. Yep. They, they do have a little bit of leg, so you know if you're right there, they are pretty easy to punish. Mm -hmm. But you have to be like in the right position, or else you, just, you run over, and he's already out of leg. So. Yeah. That said, Inkling having one of the best dashes in the game could easily close that distance. Mm -hmm. Oh, he down here is out of that. Gets the huge jab, multi jab for all the ink. He could get a big combo, however, Chen is taking this into his own combo here. Yeah. I kind of like him backing off a little bit when he uh, knows that his combo is over. Mm -hmm. Not trying to overextend. And there we see again. And no, because uh, Arif, Arif and Inkling definitely have the tools to deal with anyone who wants to overextend like that. Yeah. Speaking of tools, uh, Inkling is running low on ink and needs to recharge. Manages to get away with it safely there. Oh my god, he reads the roll. He gets the barrels for it. Honestly, that covers so many options at once. Yeah, that yeah, covers jump. Oh my god, he catches him and starts the roller. That's gonna take a stock. Just like that, we see Chen in the lead again, just like last game. Yeah, this time a little bit earlier. Okay, lands with the, the roller, doesn't get the berry though. Oh, catches the peanut. Or the back. Yeah, the peanut are also interactable objects, which is kind of weird, honestly. Yeah. And just another thing to use against Diddy. Did you? Oh, wow. At first I thought he SD'd. Nah. Oh. I don't think Inkling can SD. That character has cracked recovery. <laughs> I thought he like, lost his jump in panic. He's just going to ignore the, the 
balloon. How dare you? Uh, he, he's focused. You, yeah, you he's, got, give, he's got you, one you thing on the mind. It's not anything. that red balloon. And just like that, he finds the back air while picking up the banana. And just like that, only 40% on a reef. Not, not too bad. Especially Hello? to see if he can get anything started with this banana. Okay, good kick flip. Up oh. like almost... Is it back Almost 60%. There we go. That's Be confirmed. Forward. Just like that, banana in his arsenal again. Oh, we see the wave, the beer versus their peanut gun coming again. Yeah. You kind of oh, see. They oh, trade wow. the banana slip for the berry. Yeah. Definitely abusing their uh, free oh. sports smash gimmicks against yeah. each other. And just like that, you see him go for the uh, barrels again. The thing is, oh. I think at higher percents, the, the berry trade wins out for a reef. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, it it's harder to match out the higher percent you have. Whereas banana is kind of almost always the same timing. True. But banana is also more of a confirm than I would say uh, than berry. But just like that, mm, yeah, berry is still a confirm. So <laughs> he still is gonna take that with the up smash. Arif is up one game. This is going into game four. I don't know what kind of agitation you It, it looked pretty here, even. It could have easily gone either way. I think, yeah, they're going back to... Oh? More tech and music. More tech and music. Ooh, this is a good one. I know my one friend, Adam, he uh, chooses uh, uh, King of Fighters music a lot. Oh. And this is, uh, this is one that he always goes to. Here we go. Game four. Yeah, he just runs away, pulls banana right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, exactly. What, what, what else is there to do, you know? I really liked how Arif took center stage there and just forced him back Yeah. with that uh, ink gun. Okay. Quick percent lead here for Chen, which is growing slowly. He's Nice, quick confirms. Chen very much just going for simple confirms, not going for more than he has to. Keep the percent lead, and right now he's just kind of camping on each side of the stage, respectively. 60% lead right now. Although this uh, combo could end that, yep. <laughs> I really like that I roller for the movement into the back air. Yeah. But unfortunately, he did give Chen his stage control back, which he's abusing right now, catching the banana. Yep. Oh, he throws it away like kick flipping into off stage. Yeah. The back air trading with Lee's forward. I don't know if that's a trade that a, a reef would have wanted. I'm kind of losing uh, center stage a little bit. Oh. Especially against City when he just pulls the man and uh, gets away with stuff like that. That said, I think uh, uh, Chen is now at percent where roller confirms kill. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, get, maybe get a little bit of ink on there while you're at it. Uh, that's definitely going to be killing. Oh, he's out of ink, uh, though. Oh, but Rush is in. D doesn't uh, stay back to wait a little bit. Oh, he picked up banana. Just like that, he, he's, so, he's rushing without ink. Here's the. Okay, he gets his ink and back. Ink is back here. Yeah. I was gonna say like, uh, are we playing really aggressive? But like, if even if he got a confirm off banana, his sports smash wasn't gonna kill because he didn't have any ink. Yeah, that's true too. Unless he has enough time to uh, just charge some ink. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, he's a berry. Oh. Oh, wow. Almost nice him with that second one. Doesn't quite get it, though. Okay, good forward that, that forward kills him on the gap. Yeah. So, Inkling is one of those characters who can very easily punish the banana poles just because how much movement and uh, aerial burst Inkling yeah. has. And there we saw him trying to pull the banana and getting punished for it. Yeah. Uh... Inkling's areas on stage aren't that aren't that crazy to worry about, but the second you get like a little bit off stage, you definitely want to avoid them at all costs. Mm -hmm. They can either put you in horrible situations or just uh, or just gimp you. <laughs> Throws the splat bomb, doesn't catch him recovering there. Oh. Instantly does side you out of out of a uh, disadvantage of, there. Yeah. Oh, he inks oh, the whole stage and gets it. punished for it. That's gonna be a stop. Just like that. I, I don't want to curse this. This is looking like a game five situation. It might be. But also, oh, you, is this gonna kill? Just like that. That does kill up. at the side blast. That's gonna take it at seventy-five before yeah. the hit. 
Yeah, he's used at 50 before uh, when he lost his stock. Was it? Oh, jeez. Yeah, and just like that, in a matter of like two hits, he died. <laughs> Inkling do have some crazy confirms. Only 25% difference right now. Up throw, up air, the hoo ha. <laughs> Not killing like it did back in the old days, but. Yeah. <laughs> he's just running into the ink and getting pushed yeah, back. It's... You know, sometimes you think once they see you running, they're going to drop it, and then, you know, sometimes they just don't drop it. Nah, that move is meant to beat out running. That's the weird thing about it. <laughs> We're at 10 o'clock already. Oh, boy, it's late. Yeah. Well, I'll try to make grands uh, quick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Borgsley did have to start a bit later than we wanted to tonight because of certain someone messing up our bracket, but we won't, we won't talk about that anymore. We, we talked about that enough earlier tonight. <laughs> Is it uh, a certain ZSS player? A certain ZSS. Unfortunately, not Sal, so. Yeah, not Sal. Sal wasn't able to make it today, I guess. I mean, he's a busy man. He's got... That's true. He, he, he's got bigger things to take care of than, uh, than Smash Runners like these. And he's fresh out of pink right now on last stock. This is very dangerous for him. really just looking for uh, banana hits. And just like that. Oh, oh wow. He reads the air. Yeah, just threw all of that. He air dodged to cock the peanut. That was crazy. Okay, he gets a bit of ink on the stage. Well, not able oh, to he get gets beat out by the... Unfortunately, he gets beat out by the uh, barrels. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. nice air dodge. Okay. Um, okay, throws by the banana. Right now, we have... Uh, Arif, last Arif wants to close out. He does not want to let Chen have another game. True. But, at the same time, this, is, this would also be Arif's uh, counter pick. Mm-hmm. So... I, I'm also, you know, maybe saying that so you can have... No, the barrels take it. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, so you are biased. Just, just, just enough to say that I want to get bracket done in time. Uh, <laughs> all right, so then I'll, I'll go to the bathroom now so I don't hold up bracket. I'll be right back. Yeah, we're going to game five, and this is not grand yet. Oh, so. go. Oh, is it loser's finals? This is still loser's finals. Oh, my God. So we could have to go two more sets after this. Yeah, we could have two more full sets to five after this game. Oh my god. What's Hayden's uh, game tag? Hayden? Yeah, the guy, the, the guy you were just talking to. Oh, that's Diddy Dang. What? That's Diddy Dang. He's waiting yeah. in grand final for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we go. Josh, you want to talk on commentary? This is game five of Loser's, sem losers Finals. Wait, I actually said Loser's Semis as well. This is Loser's Finals. Wait, was that an SD? Oh, no. Oh, my God. He got turbo gimped. Arif is out for blood. He heard me say, you want this to be quick. And, oh, did he respond? Holy. Oh, this is such <laughs> What's what, what? What part of this is Sag? Dying at zero twice in a row. Ah, uh, yeah, that is very unfortunate. And even with that, Reef now has a percent lead too. That said, Diddy Kong's in a situation yeah, where he has to approach, which maybe he's playing into what Reef wants to do more than anything. Yeah, you don't. And Reef wants to close this out quick. This might be a minute game. No, does he catch something that gets beat up by the barrels? Yeah, it's gonna do it. Ooh, and that was all, that was a minute three seconds. That was very unfortunate for Chen. Yeah, who we got up next? So we have a Reef versus Diddy Dank. Diddy Dank just ran to the washroom. We have a Reef Diddy Dank. A Reef Diddy Dank finals. A Reef Diddy Dank finals. I don't know what you expected. That's how it always be around here. It's okay. Once the once Bioth becomes a Mishima, we get we, we get in there. <laughs> we get the Sephiroth going too. You know. Here we go. Getting ready for grand finals. Wait, what happened? Didn't the game just start? Uh, Are you good, Chen? Yeah. That was so yeah, unfortunate. That was, was kind of. <laughs> I let all the stuff off. Yeah. Are you. Uh, yeah, you can play now. I'm yeah, okay. Yeah. Are Reef taking a quick uh, break just so you can get some fresh air? Uh, are Reef reporting this for yeah. Oh yeah, and report, and report. Man is always ready to go. That said, we're at, we're at a point where we know what's going on in bracket. Um, so Chen went off stage twice and died. 
at zero, basically. Oh, like, shit. Yeah, and then, like, that game was a minute, three seconds. I was going to say, I went to the bathroom, and I came back, and I'm like, wait, uh, Inklings on the way. <laughs> yeah, like, no. That's sad. That's we, we sad. take those. We, we, like, yeah, we take those, but... Goder doesn't play this game? Nah. That's upsetting. Sad. Very upsetting. What's the mod chat? Wait. The Donnie's computer actually died? Mm-hmm. No. No, Dondi. Okay, so, um, while we're getting ready for grand finals here, by the way, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who helped run our venue tonight, everyone who was a respectable competitor. Um, great night overall. Biggest win we've had so far. Dude, my first two games against Day Night almost went to time. Really? I'm not fucking approaching Sora, hell no. I played for the timeout. Wait, did you win or lose? Oh, I choked game two and then he won Pirate Myth and I lost. Oh, damn, that sucks, man. I did, yeah. Wait, did you go 0 2 today? No. I beat Ugly Man in SX. Oh, nice, okay. I don't know why his tag is Ugly Man. Oh, we're just going straight into it. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, no. We, uh. Bro, it is past 10 p.m. We all want to be going home, I think. Last time on a Tuesday, I need to get the vodka out. Oh, yeah. yep. <laughs> yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. Arif oh, is a loser side, by the way. So if Arif wins game or set one, then we have to reset the bracket, unfortunately. So they buffed Inkling, by the way. Unfortunately, that is not this patch that's out yet. We are still playing on. No, SD! Very unfortunate, what landing on stage there. Happy 50%. No. Okay. Yes. That said, um. Uh, Diddy Bank still has for some percent here. Unfortunately, yeah, that roller is not going to be what he needs to be taking right now. And Reef is definitely abusing the early SD here. Trying to get some percent. Yeah, he's playing to this one condition. He's not going to. He bank. does get hit by the last little hit there. And wow, that hit. That does not kill. Really good DI. Diddy Bank really abusing Bowser's weight. How do you with this DI. Yeah. And going back to the kills. No, not, not, not Yeah, yet. Bowser too. Oh, uh, that does kill though. He used his air dodge to make sure he could survive and didn't have it to deal with that. It's might be a quick game one. Oh, this song is goaded. Wait, what song is this? Uh, Bayo 2 main team. Oh, nice. Inst Let's go. Instrumental version. Dude, like, oh, yo, nice. yo, instrumental jazz versions? Hello? Yeah, this uh, Bayo soundtrack kind of goaded. Bayo soundtrack do be insane. Oh, wait, my uh, go to our 12. You're in chat, right? I think. When when does Franklin play his game? Wait, are they playing tonight? Franklin against Susu, yeah. What? Yeah, bro. <laughs> and yeah, oh, Roller Berry confirmed. Wow. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, and pick. it's no longer a JV3. Tomorrow, apparently, Saj. Saj. Oh, oh my no. god. That's gonna be a stock. Yo, that's... Okay, wait. JD Dank can take this back. Uh, oh, that's gonna take the stock. Okay, okay, okay. That was a crazy game one. Unfortunate SD in for stock, though. Oh. Reef takes... Uh, that was a cheeky one. little fucking shield break there. Hopefully, playoff series tomorrow. Let's go. Classic MCPL moment. Yeah, no, player. no character counter picks. They're going straight back to their guns. They are out here. What stage are we on again? I feel like, yeah, we're on FD. That makes sense. We saw FD actually be a really good pick for Diddy Bank earlier. Trade in the fire breath there. Back air. Bowser looking like a green machine right now. Got some ink on him, which is really good for a reef, but rolling fortress, catching these unsafe aerials. 
Although, they're only really unsafe when you get sick-ass parries like that. Ooh, that was interesting. Okay, okay up throw up air. The hoo-ha. Or the boo-ya, sorry. The boo-ya, heck yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the lower right. Okay, back air. Nice. Nice back air. Nice back air. Oh, Tinder Swipe, send him in the air. In a juggle situation. Ooh, very, Doesn't get the landing hitbox to hit him there. Really nice Dude, air. Dude, air to back air. That was sick. Yeah, that's a thing. Wait, is this Ashley? No. No, it's Jump Up Superstar. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if it was Ashley's song or Jump Up Superstar. Sorry, I need sleep. <laughs> need sleep. <laughs> Missing up my, my favorite Nintendo songs. Dude, yeah. did he claw through that? Yeah, Bowser did don't Bowser give a fuck. Did Bowser claw through the bomb? Bowser don't give a fuck, bro. Dude, Bowser's got bulletproof armor. Holy. You have bulletproof? Good ability, though. Bulletproof is a. You're looking like Kamo O out here. He's even a scrap. He's a fighting type. Through and through. Nice. Okay. 174. <laughs> Why? Wow, that that, that too, looks yeah. techable, actually. Surprisingly I techable. I think it was, yeah. I don't think he expected to get hit by it, though. I mean, Bowser do be the heaviest character in the game. Okay, up throw. Not gonna hit the up air. Not as. Oh, wow, Bowser. That was just that's the rude. actual Bowser bomb. Okay, gets buried, buried gets the back, back air, gets the jab on the yeah, spot dodge there. Yeah, a little bit of set gets play the ink that. on the roll in. A little bit of set that play. was a really cool string there from the reef. Up throw misses the up and, air. Oh, he gets down there for missing that. He might die here. Oh, why did he go so low? Okay, he makes it back, gets the down air, even percents, although this is in Bowser's favor right now. 100%, but that's got oh, a great situation. He was there, just high enough so. to avoid that. And, yep. That's probably, nope. No, yeah. flying slam, not enough to take it. Okay, back throw, nope. Not very strong there. Not close to the blast zone. Oh, forward throws to get on stage and DBZ moment there, both off stage. Is that what we call that? that oh my god, dude, did you just see the dash boost mm. forward tilt? That's so cool. Gets the pivot cancel. Oh. Yeah, that's a strong pull over there. Guys don't even need no smash tags. Like, yep. Dude, that's like a... Super fast, smash attack level strength, tilt, you can do out of run, crazy stuff. Oh, is this back throw finally gonna take it? Not no, even not close. even close. And he eats, oh, no, yeah. he doesn't make it back to stage. I wonder if that works like some other uppies where when you hit your opponent, you don't go as high. Not sure. Just let me go look that, or maybe, maybe Diddy Ring just messed up his mash, because uh, hit stun often can mess up timings for op moves. Diddy oh, yeah, these down here's out of, this is damage not working up from there. He really wants to skill. Oh, <laughs> nice runaway forward tilt. Throw. Going for a tech chase equation. Got that there bomb you. just barely not sliding off the pitch in there. Did oh, the jump back fire breath. Did the doing a good job of avoiding these edge guard situations here again. Mm -hmm. Getting a little bit lucky almost. Bad bomb though, gonna catch him off stage. Yeah, this, this jump on this four airs. I've been doing yeah. a lot of work for Diddy Dang. I think that's why he doesn't like the platforms and went to FD. It's a lot harder to deal with that when you don't have a platform to hide under. Dude, these bombs are making this a uh, little bit of a, you know, danger. A minefield here. And Inkling is also out of ink. No more splat bombs on the table unless you can run away and charge. This is really dicey. It's going to be hard for him to find a situation. Oh my god, really good up air. Gets a little bit of ink off the disadvantage there. Oh, and yeah, I guess just the amount of ink. And I didn't even realize that was last stock. That was crazy set. And if Arif can take game three, that's going to be a bracket reset. So, Diddy Dank's going to figure out what's going on here. Bring it back to FD. Really close games. This is uh, grand finals right now. Reef is up to a on loser side. Are you here to pick up a monitor? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. No, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, game three. This is the first round of losers. Oh yeah, I've heard some. Finals, I've so. heard some deep lore, some deep new tea. Apparently, Sprinkle is going to be transitioning into Pokemon trainer. Oh. Switching over to the Pete Pokemon Yeah, he trainer. actually was yeah. playing PT on stream earlier today, but it didn't quite work out. He switched back to Incineroar. 
Um, that said, like, if he can use his Incineroar Fundamentals and Pokemon Trainer, he can go a long way. I see, I see no reason to switch. To switch. No switch. No cap. Incineroar is... Anyways, right now, Bowser and Arif, or Dunek and Arif, pretty much about the same as last couple games. Very back yeah. and forth. Back on FD. This probably might be last stock situation again. Ah, oh, the bomb running through that fire yeah. is still going off right in Bowser's face. Oh, he grabs one of the multi jab. Back throw is not enough DI. to take it though. Really good DI. We've seen both of these characters, both of these players, utilizing DI to live to percents that seem unreasonable. Unfortunately, not going to take that one quite right and dies to the forward tilt. <laughs> Boy, the, the red effect on FD there is shooting through the ink looks really cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> looks awful. You don't like the green on the stage? Oh, awful. There's so many looks colors. Looks like you got swamp water all over the stage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got that uh, neon green uh, Nickelodeon goo. Neon, neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh, oh that reset. was. That could have broken shield if he wasn't careful. That was bold. Holy they both shit. go super deep. That's good for it. I guess I'm off stage. Arif down 70% right now. Um, that said, that could be one or two big combos that can make back. You need a few nice little neutral runs, and yeah, it's me. He went right back up. Oh, back goes for the jab shield. there. Nice reverse jab, but a reason time to shield it there. Not a lot of end yeah. leg on the, the ink blaster. Here comes the heavy tax. I think it's a splat gun. Here comes the heavy tax. City Dank already at 100%. Reef looking clean in these situations. Okay, up throw. No follow up. Puts him in a uh, weird juggle situation. Doesn't get anything off of it though. Okay, good landing forward there. And gets a lot of percent of this fire breath to Ooh, the point yeah. where I think anything right now can kill for Bowser. Oh, it did a flat boot up here. And yeah. Flying slam sends him to the blast zone. Bowser's up a stock. Gonna hold on to the 130 plus damage. Ooh, we find Dave again. Damn. Oh, yeah, he doesn't quite get beat up by the Whirling Fortress there. Nice down tilt sends him off stage. Not quite a kill though. Oh, he beats wow. out that back nice air with his own forward tilt. Air, yeah. And forward throw? That's no, sorry, that's down throw. Okay, tinder swipe. swipes. Ooh. Flying slam. He tries to go backwards off stage, but doesn't quite get it. Pretty sure Inkling can live fairly easily. But, oh, oh, he wow. dropped shield. That was really smart. If he had held shield, he might have lost his stock immediately to a forward smash on the shield break. We're at 190%. Like, that was it. Oh. Yeah, tinder swipe catches jump. Anti air, nice. Nice. Yo, maybe Bowser truly is a Shoto. He's got a spin move? Dude, he doesn't have a fireball. He's just got fire breath. There's a big difference. Good enough, bro. He's got an invincible uh, dragon punch. Except it's not invincible, so we're playing Street Fighter V. <laughs> I think. One of them is something not invincible. I don't remember. Okay, game four situation. If Arif wins again, then we're getting a full bracket reset and potentially another game... Another best of five, so we're going to Hollow Bastion, and we got the music counter pick. This has been one of Reef's favorite stages. Why am I on Twitter? I don't know why you're staring at ECM's face. Please, please, enjoy this lovely stream first and foremost, because here we go. Inkling Bowser on Hollow Bastion. God, this song is beautiful. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. They go one, two. Oh, the Whirling Fortress, not enough to beat a splatter gun. Apparently, gun does beat Fortress. Oh, it runs away and shields that safely. Oh my god, yeah, dropping shield again. Doesn't want to get shield broken. Arif is definitely worried of that. Okay, back throw. Sends off stage. Gets the fire breath damage, but not enough to keep him in disadvantage. Okay, big up beat. Forward air. Right now, it's, I think we're kind of losing these one on one interactions. Oh, Does yeah. get the forward smash in Bowser off stage, though, which is very risky, and now he's got no ink. Um, this is kind of bad for Inkling right now because he needs to try to get on stage and charge, and Bowser has all the percent lead to try and punish that. Unfortunately, he slips right by. Bowser doesn't quite be able to get a punish off there. 
gonna hold center stage here. He doesn't want anything to happen with this little lead he's got on, on Inkling here. Inkling really abusing the grounded movement right now. Mm -hmm. So slippery, but eventually some, someone's gonna have to take the stock. Ooh, oh, that's a that lot unfair. of damage. So did he expect him did, Okay, once again, Reef is out of ink. He's gonna try to get away and get some more ink if he wants to get any confirms. There we go, gets a little bit in the tank. I think that's just barely... No, throws a splat bomb with it. Oh, Reef left with a spike. Okay, up there. We're not gonna do it just yet. Not taking this opportunity to charge ink, which I think might be a misplay. He got a little bit of forward throw splatter on him. Bowser is right now down a percent, but any big hit's gonna take this. And yeah, the Tinder Swipe catches the neutral getup. When you're above 100, you have less invulnerability on your neutral getups. Nice shield. Good up, yeah, shield. That's a little 30%. And Bowser's still looking. Oh, he jumps right over there. the fire, catches the forward air. And, oh, ooh, claps right back at that, that forward for air off yeah. the angel platform. That was rude. That was really weird. He got pushed back by the ink to a point where that down feed didn't quite connect. And as much as that Whirling Fortress covers a lot, he does have enough time to roll away and hold shield there. A lot of shield damage here. Okay, yo, that, that back hit or up tilt just barely hitting him there. Dang, gets away with all that ink pressure for free. Okay, he's off stage. Inkling's also getting low in the ink department. That's a and kill. And that, that's a sick kill. Scooping him there. And we're going to the final transition. Who are we going to have in the background? Probably Sora. I'm going to guess Sora. You're going to guess Sora? Oh, oh my god, he gets nice. the down air spike. That was so smart. He's the key down air. Pop smash forward. I don't know who that is in the background. I, didn't play, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts either. I, I apologize to all Kingdom Hearts fans out there. Looks like Lob with a Keyblade in the cap. Oh, Rolling Force is not going to catch him there. Oh, nice forward tilt. No Gets up, yeah, get up attack beats up the fire there. Dead get up attacks are fully invincible in this game. So you have to be careful uh, attacking into them at ledge. That's a micro jab block. Oh, okay, not doesn't quite get the jab block, but still a good jab combo there as a finisher. Oh, yeah, take his jump. No, he still has it. Oh, wow. And does get the downer there. Does he get a, doesn't get the nair follow up. Okay, Inkling's at 62, which might not look like a lot. A good tech by Diddy Dank. This is borderline kill. No, he falls off stage and unfortunate SD. We are getting the bracket reset. Um, that's. We're going to be here for a little bit longer, unfortunately. Unfortunately, bro. Really? Um, Josh, do you want to go see if other people want to start packing up a bit? Because I would like to get out of here as soon as this game is done. I can't talk to people. You can't talk to people? Do you want to go ask Selena or Patty to then? No, you should. I'll, 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 I got the commentary. You got the commentary? Okay, I gotta go do some TO work. Yeah, because I'm a fucking bitch, but it's all good. It's my own. So we we'll probably might see an FD pick here, or maybe even none of oh, Smashville. Okay, so interesting pick, I think, because honestly, Inkling can just run away from Bowser and not respect anything. Well, well you gotta respect Bowser. You don't wanna scrap with him. So playing on a smaller stage like Smashville might be, might not be in a receiver, but we'll see. We will see. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got a little, a lot of scrapping going on. Diddy Dank taking immediate lead over Diddy Dank, 76%. Basically, on our answer, 20% means nothing to Bowser. Yo, oh, now he's just opening it up. The defense getting a nice little combo, pretty much evening this up, except getting evening up right now. Goes for the Fundy Crouch, that's hit by the forwarder anyways. Ah, unfortunate SD by Reef. I'm gonna play the score, I should probably do that. Yeah, 
this is zero zero in this bracket reset. Game again looking really wow that was that would have been an amazing shield break there the platform moving a reef out of the way just in time the fair does disadvantage the downer misses the platform moves the platform not helping out diddy dang very much back row small stage snapping Ooh, okay he's positioning back some back off stage and Reese can get on stage for free because it's spot bomb. Never mind, back off stage. Ooh, drop zone fair. He didn't get up a stock in this game. Okay, the shield gonna get a little more damage. Pressure of that really, uh, nice little reaction with the get up attack there. Back air, not gonna do it just yet. Going so deep. Ooh, down air? That might. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Even stocks here. But there's uh, the heavy tags. We might just get a lot of damage here. Set off stage, get up attack. Reset neutral, gonna take space. Ooh, ooh, goes for the down. Oh, that's worth smash. Oh, for blood here. I think a whole bunch of damage for it. Wow, maybe even a stock. <laughs> Unsafe dash attack on shield. He's catching a lot of these landing aerials from uh, D Dank now. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go pack up. So cool. Extremely even. This is still basically even. This is, uh, one hit from either player, one good hit. Not I lied. That wasn't a good enough hit. Now it'll be one good hit. 178 versus 127. This could be anyone's game. Both well, trying to take the center stage front of it. Unfortunate SD by Diddy Bang. Reef taking the first game in the second set of grand finals. We're mm -hmm. on a straight back to Smashville. Same character as I was saying? Yep. from Diddy Dang, I think. That's gonna be a nice little 34% fire right off the bat. Game catches, Diddy Dang. Goes in with the fair, gets comboed for it. A lot of damage. Holy, 76 already? Ah, oh, this is a down smash. Ooh, very nice to blow. The line player there. This is forward throw, gets all the positioning back on stage. Um, wrong way on the forward fault. Ah, oh, another unfortunate down air. Down air and shield from Inkling. Heavy slam is not. Oh, is it heavy slam? It's not heavy slam. A little more chip damage with the fire breath. Ooh, yeah, with page like it's a fair, but he's not gonna die yet. Great DI coming up for Reef. It's very hard for Bowser to approach too. Reef is just holding out of his stock for so long. Goes for the down air, wow. I got a shield, this might just be it. Yeah, carries him right off stage. Sunny is because I'm gonna ink. Oh, that's not gonna do it. I'm still got a whole stock lead here though. 
Okay, this is Bowser. One little conversion and a few neutral wins could mean and another star can be dang. Back there, oh. Joining us on the mic. Hi. I'm Hello. really, really fucking tired. <laughs> All good, bro. We're oh. just vibing. What is it? 1 0 already? Yep, we're in the uh, grand finals reset. Mm. Ooh. Nice little back throw. 130 fenoms inkling. Wow. The survivability is. All three playoff sets tomorrow? Damn. Yeah. Uh, Franklin loses the game. Fourth row is gonna do it, yep. Wow, this is basically even here. His 50% doesn't really mean much for Bowser. Throw probably a fair enough there. Nope. No conversion so off of that. Very winnable. Bowser's so heavy. Bowser Yep, extremely heavy and extreme amounts of kill power. One side Ooh, beyond nice the side little parry. platform just kills. We got the Arif Sims in the chat. Ooh, nice little down B here. <laughs> that little bit of ink probably saved his life. Even game. Was he fair? Ooh. Oh, got the two frame! Got the two frame. That's TD Dan Kelly lapping right back. Making this a 1 1. Alright, so now it's basically a best of three. I'm gonna grab my water bottle. Yeah. It's 10.30 and we're still going, holy shit. <laughs> oh. I don't know how these guys do it. They've literally been doing this for like five hours straight. Nice little build a bear call. Ooh, that's not a good way to start. Air dodge. Air dodge got buffered. Ah, that's unfortunate. He's taking it really slow and played to this lead. He has to go for the big things to try and make it back. Yeah. Uh, his movement makes it very hard to even connect anything here. See, personally, in my opinion, this is just a time where you just raw F smash and hope it hits. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it covers like a third of the stage. Grandy's nuts. We got Alan here in the chat. Here, uh. OG shit poster. Fair, still coming out super fast. Ooh, the tender split, even if it's stock percent <laughs> lead is massive. 31% off the fire pulse. So much damage. He comes back. Always, bro. Why does Bowser fly so high? Always in forever. Got a shield. Up. Okay, but this is a decent comeback. Like he's got the advantage. He's got center stage. He's got enough percent that he could kill pretty easy. Problem is hitting it from here. Let's see, let's see what uh, transpires. Smash almost had to 
something. That's your kill. Yeah. Oh wow, that's actually even with those huge blast zones. Okay, I guess a little pressure, but it doesn't matter. They had a shield. Ooh, that's a little free piece. Oh, he's still Might alive though. It? No. Ah, uh, yeah, for me it. Yep. You're taking it. Two, one. Welcome back. We have at least one more game. At least one more game. Dude, I'm so done. <laughs> I work in the morning too. <laughs> oh, good, bro. This is Jets Blue Packer. Nice little backer strength. Ooh, double fair. This is a good off stage. Offside lost pressure coming in here from Bowser. He thinks one center oh gets caught by the uh, by the um, by the roller. And, yeah, we should take the first stock here. Five on center on stage, twenty percent. This is really dangerous here. Fifty-five already. Uh, down if they do it. Evening stocks up here. And back here, back here. Another one, another one. Up here to shield at 60%. Just runs away with that old roller. Down splash missing here. Ooh, lots of back airs again. Ooh, oh, the range of that down splash is huge, and look at the stock. Exactly where he's gonna land down there. But I'm missing on the draw a little bit. I'm not gonna do it just yet with the flying slam. But he's gonna take this ledge, see if we get any ledge pressure here. Yeah, it's a grab with a roller. Four throw back off stage, see if we can get anything done here. Watch, I'm missing all these pushing these two frames. It's very hard to two frame inkling. Such a fast character off stage. Up here, oh, the down is going to be at a disadvantage. Oh, uh, that's going to kill, and a reef takes it. Uh, He's hitting the ladder. Oh, we're done. We're done. A double 3 1 from the reef here. Huge play is coming out. Done, bro. Okay, I'm gonna close stream. All right, you do that. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our stream tonight. Tomorrow will be our last weekly, or sorry, not tomorrow. Next week will be the last weekly for the year uh, until January. Um, so I hope to see you all there.
and we also be streaming on my channel some of the uh, McMaster Pokemon League content as well. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested, that'll be on Friday and Saturday and Sunday.